1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Hello, it's me, your favourite bloody RS Fakey Five Hundred. You watching Sega Socks Live? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, support the Patreon. You know, I'd love to do a before the stream video before it all starts. It's eight fifteen. Talking about nine o'clock. So we've got forty-five minutes. Jacket potatoes about done. Washing up's not done. Yeah, steak's not cooked. And uh, we'll get all that sorted, eaten, and uh, get myself prepared in the next 45 minutes. So uh, the clock is ticking, as you could say. A few things going in my favour. Jack potato is already cooked. Oh, I didn't get the steak out of the fridge. Cooking it from cold. Never a good thing. Never a good thing. Don't cook it from cold. Okay. But the, the one thing I've got going in my favour is everything else is already sorted. As much exercise as you need at this time of day. So everything else is already rocking and rolling. Systems are already on. Alright, I've got to turn on the OSSC. I've got to log into the correct programme, but uh, we're close. Very close, and this is the beforehand. Now, usually, I'll be stressing out, but because uh, I had a few beers already, I'm not really worried. 45 minutes seems like days at this point. So, anyway, I'll best get back on, carry on with the state game, not lose focus. Let's clear up all these empty beer cans. I don't, I don't know who's left them here, to be honest. Some sort of do gooder. Somebody out there trying to make me look bad, no doubt. I'll catch them in the end. They keep going around, leaving them everywhere. I'll find out who you are in the end. If you're watching, I'm on your case, all right. But yeah, the bowl is overflowing. So it's time for me to get going. Over and out. Right, this is the k Lord Gamer here. Any more messing about it, I'll get this bad, but I'll smash it on your head. Hello and welcome back to another live stream here on a Friday night. So, finally got it all working. I know I said I got it all working before, that was kind of a lie. Because it only all worked for a short time. Then it transpired and needed a 5 volt power pack. So, uh, I finally managed to get one. Cut a long story short, I had to order three on the way. And it now thinks hunky dory. So let me just show that in motion quickly. Oh dear, I've not even set that up. Terrible. What's going on with this stream? Hold on one second. I've got to press number one. Then I've got to press TV line mode number four. All right. Okay. I've got it, I've got it sorted out now, hopefully. I've just got to hope I've got the microphone turned on. It looks like I have. Okay. So we're seeing the Neo Geo there, which we've all seen. We've seen that last night. If he was here yesterday, seen that last night. Okay. We'll go to number two. Oh, listen to that, romper stomper. Now, I don't know what the volume level's like. This is the risk. We've got no stereo feed, come on. Sort that out, straight the way. No one's hearing this, Darren, come on. 
Right, it might get a bit loud for the next consoles. But they've got they've got that work anyway, Dreamcast. Number three. Oh, it's only the Super Nintendo. Or Super Famicom if you want to be fussy, I guess. Okay, what we've got on number four. Oh, only a bit of Mega Drive. So that's working fine. And of course, number five. Well, it's the Sega Saturn. And uh, coming up with a spot of Darius Gaiden. So what I'm actually going to do is play some Neo Geo. I just wanted to show this at the start. that It's actually all sorted out. Finally put to rest. This is it. This could be the final stream. You could be listening to the last ever stream on this channel. But uh, here it is. So, I don't know. If you, if you wanted to pick a game out of these ones now, now would be the time to speak up. Otherwise, I'm going to go straight to Neo Geo. Probably not going to play golf, though. So maybe I should play something else while I load something else. Ah, uh, I reckon we should play this. I reckon we should play this. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn a few of these consoles off because ordinarily would not have this much hardware on at once. This is uh, a ridiculous... Uh, idea but uh, just wanted to show you it in principle that yes finally cracked it and uh, rather pleased I must say okay I've left the Saturn and the Neo Geo one I could probably turn the Neo Geo off to be honest but uh, let's have a look at a bit of Fast Striker Let's get back to the ordinary screen. So I don't know who's out there. Is anyone out there? Two loyal followers out there. Hello to those people. Hopefully I've got everything working correctly. If you're trying to send me a message via a phone, unfortunately it's in the other room. I probably should have brought it in here. That would have been a good idea. But I was too busy fanning around. So uh, I think it's working. I'm sure it's working. Is it working? I think it is. So I think we're actually playing the game. I'm still drinking my beer, but... I love this game. Shout out to Danks. Shout out to Danks. Are you there, Danks? Come in, Danks. The man who made me truly aware of this game. And... Uh, what a great series of videos that was. I like seeing nostalgic about YouTube. Can you believe it? 2021. I don't know when it was. I reckon it was about 2013. Time flies by when you're not having that much fun. But uh, all the same. Yeah, hope he's getting on all right in the condo. Had some floods last time I heard. Terrible set of circumstances, but oh man. I think that was a shield. There's a chance to refill it. So as you can see, if you were here for the intro, I've uh, not long eaten my steak. I don't even know what the buttons are. What's the button for the shield attack? That's it, I found it. Peaked a little, peaked a little bit early there, but managed to pick up the upgrade anyway. Must check on the sound levels. Hold on, someone's saying something. Chomp, will you can chomp no more? Chomp, will you can chomp no more? What does that mean? It's it's Fagin. Chomp, will you can chomp no more? I don't even know the reference, God. We're going to get enough sound here. That's the concern. Are we getting enough sound? I need to unpause to find that out. It sounds like we're getting a lot of sound. It looks like we're getting a lot of sound. You need a lot of sound on this game. Remember when this game came out, Sean, and uh, you did like a review of it and said it was rubbish? Basically. <laughs> Basically. Well, I actually disagree. I think it's quite good. It is that Euro style shoot 'em up action that you so despise, but. Oh no. Still rather fantastic, I think. Sound is fine. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Of course, it's very difficult because I'm chopping and changing here with different consoles. At one point, I had five turned on. I think I've limited it down to two now. I think I've got Saturn and Dreamcast rolling at the minute. 
I think you can actually just hold the button down rather than keep button bashing. These sort of games are a little bit disorientating, I must say, after you've had a few drinks. I don't want to throw out that excuse, but... Uh, different strokes, though. Yeah, I really don't like this. Different strokes, though. Oh, yeah, well, I still enjoyed the review regardless. Yeah, it's one of those, though. I don't know if it's just because... I don't know. I think it's the Danks influence. I just what I spent. He just went. He went mad on this game when he got it for MVS, and he was just doing videos about it all the time. Although at least that's what it felt like. My memory may be somewhat skewed, but uh, and it really made me want to get this game. I would say I wish I'd got it when they did the reissue for the AES, but uh, I'll be lying because let's be honest, I've not even received the game I ordered five years ago, so. Not really much hope for receiving anything this side of 2030, I don't think. People keep saying it's on the way, but you know, when you've heard that a lot, you start to disbelieve it a little. And in all honesty, I think I'm just going to sell my copy of Crowdbusters. <laughs> if someone out there wants to pay me like a thousand pounds for it, they can buy it. just unbelievable I've never waited five years for anything not even the tightest girlfriend you know this is just ridiculous absolutely crazy shouldn't be allowed if I had enough money I would I would take legal action but they would just say we'll give you your money back and I don't want that at this point I don't wait five years for my money back from five years ago come on could have bought Amazon shares with them The music in this game, though, that's another thing. I just love this music. I would totally listen to this in my car. Oh, no. And the shield gun, not going to get him. Oh, did I get him? Yes. Managed to get him. Absolute fluke. Oh, dear me. Nearly five years. I'm getting there with the GDAMU, to be honest. Nearly five years. Is that when Danks did the thing? Is that all? Oh. Yeah, they were crazy times, they were. I don't know, I mean, I don't I don't go around looking for people, so maybe there are people that are like that still out there, but... I don't know, I do, I do feel like some of the people that are no longer around, they can't really be replaced, you know. Just been some absolute classics over the years. Certainly, when I joined YouTube, I was quite late. There'd already been quite a bit of drama within the gaming community in regards to different people. Nothing at all to do with me. People were surprised I hadn't heard about it when I uh, first started going to like gaming things. Oh, come on. How's the shield thing? That's it. Just get in there and minx him up. That's done nothing. Absolute zero. Zero win. Just such a kaleidoscope, isn't it? It's got the cave type. Just mentalness, like. Just so much going on, you can't understand. Some of them you wouldn't want to replace. <laughs> What's happened to Matt anyway? I've given him prior notice. I've paid him the 25 pence that he insists on per hour of viewership. Is it the concerns over the moderation responsibilities? I mean, as you can see, it's just out of hand in the comments section. It's unbelievable. It's wall-to-wall -wall action. There's that many people tussling and fighting. It's a, it's a wonder anyone could even watch the footage. It really is. I mean, this bit's a bit annoying, but it's kind of like Ikaruga's got bits like this. Although, not that I get on with Ikaruga. I can't, I don't gel with Treasure games, I don't think, in general. Other than a few on the Mega Drive, I don't really gel with them. I don't know what it is. 
something not quite quite right for me. Or too complicated. I don't like complicated games, that is definitely a factor. Well, if there's more than two buttons, generally that's off putting to me. Although Matt was trying to get me to uh, record a video of Guitar Hero. Potentially there's there's up to I think there's five buttons on the neck of the guitar, so. Oh, I just chose that shield at exactly the right time. It was a complete fluke. My finger actually slipped. But it looks so good. <laughs> it looked like it was purposely, purposely done. Yeah, I really need to go back and watch those Danks videos. See if they're as good as I make them out to be. I think it's just his enthusiasm. I think a lot of people even lack the enthusiasm these days. I'd, admittedly, it's hard to be enthusiastic with the world of today. But... I actually left a comment on the NG Dev Team uh, Facebook page and said if I actually receive the game, I'll probably cry. <laughs> It didn't make them ship it out to me any faster though, let that, that, that be known. I'd rather see Matt's top 1000 AV cables. Treasures are noise. Matt parked me trust to a box of matches. So would I, so would. Hold on, is this Sturo or is it Future Matt? It's hard to tell. It's Future Matt, so would. Oh no, we've run out, you've, Matt you've ruined it. We didn't get to continue. Anyway, that was just showing the Dreamcast works. You might have missed the beginning map. I've turned some consoles off now. It's too late. We're going to Sega Saturn. I don't know what number it is. We found it. Oh man, it's looking good at my end. I must say. Oh dear, this is wrapped around a lot of cables. There hasn't been much thought going to this. Luckily, been able to save the day there. Good evening, good evening, Matthew. You've brought in some viewers, Matthew. At one point, there was two viewers. One of them was my mum, the other one was Sean. Shout out to my mum. Shout out to Sean. <laughs> but yes, good good to see you here. Where have you been? A special introduction. I didn't even share it on WhatsApp. The trials and tribulations of streaming. Behind the scenes, a special behind the scenes look. People think it's an easy life, but you know, I, I was I was 45 minutes to go. Suddenly, even eating any food, the effects of the alcohol were starting to kick in considerably. I know some people say eating is cheating, but uh, it considerably helped me. I like to use the word considerably in every sentence now. It's a new thing. Started this evening. Well, this is a game. I mean. Uh, the thing is on these streams, I do end up playing the same games. There's just certain games I really like. This is one of them. Oh, oh dear. As I die. I don't like this game anymore. It sucks. I'll put the bomb out. I think that could be your friend somehow. I fucked that up and yeah, I've killed him. Yeah, also, we've gone into the X-rated hour. Sw expletives are now allowed at this point. So if you've got any children... Well, I'm sure they've heard a lot worse on a daily basis. I don't think you've got anything to worry about. Children actually know more swear words than me. They're introducing me to new words all the time. So. Yeah, I'm always raving about this game. It's just those backgrounds. It's just such a strange, trippy, weird shoot -em up. And it's just, it's just brilliant. It just plays so well. It's just one of the games. If you've got Saturn, you've got to get this. You've got to get this. This has got to be one of the best games to get. I would say so. Top 10 game for me. I'll check it out later. I need to smear my screen with Vaseline to get that authentic matte streaming look. I never lived down that tuna sandwich at the shop behind the Norbrek. Oh, for fuck's sake. I tell you what, that sandwich was so rank. I don't think I even ate mine, did I? And when we went to fucking Weatherspoons, the food looked fantastic. And all I wanted to do from the very start was go to a pub. But in order to go to that pub, in order to convince you to go to the pub, we had to eat that wanky calf meal. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I fell out with people for a lot less than that before. You should consider yourself quite lucky, actually. Yeah, that was bad. 
I will never take your advice on a calf again. I will always go with my full instinct, which is just go to Weatherspoons. I think that, that set us off onto a bad start, that meal. I'm not even going to call it a meal, it was disgusting. I can't remember what everyone else had, but everything was disgusting. Yeah, some of the worst, some of the most disgusting breakfast material I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even going to call it food, I'm just going to call it material. Usually you can kill this boss quite quickly, I don't know what's going on. I've run out of bombs, I think, is the problem. I'm just purely illustrating that the Saturn works, rather than uh, any sort of uh, display of skill. Because this fish, it just seems to be taking forever to die at the minute. Doris Garden is top two according to the official Saturn list. Pile of sick on a plate. Doris games are brilliant, yeah they are. Doris, very nice series of shooting games. Scratchmaster Dow. How's it going, mate? Matt had that on the Sunday morning, if I recall correctly. Oh man, what we took to Matt on the Sunday morning was pretty good. We so should have filmed that. That's if I want to rate top 25 regrets of my life, that's in it. Not filming that trip. We should have filmed the chat in the morning in the Norbreck uh, Hotel and all the other people in the background. And then we should have filmed the trip up to Matt's. We should have edited it all together. Would have been one of the best videos on YouTube. I nearly cried with laughter, I did. No, I think I was crying with laughter. Just the whole thing. Even the way up there with those disabled people and stuff. It was just... It was just such a surreal... Oh, this boss really, this thing really does my nut, and I think you can make it your friend. I say, I think it's going to be. Yes, I've done it. It's not just in my head, it's true. He's my friend now, the pea man. Look at him, all them peas he throws out. There's more than 720p there. I reckon there's more than 1080p. I don't know how many peas are in 4K, but there's probably more than that. Serious pea power. Look at the way. Love that. Another good friend helped me along. Like P Man. It's gone now. But he was not forgotten. I'll always remember what he did for me. Oh, I wish he'd stayed around. I've got a bloody shot then. There's really no need to throw out a bomb there. I forgot about the disabled people. Matt had that on Sunday morning. Oh, God. Oh, God. If we recorded that, so funny. So funny. Oh my god. Just so surreal. Just the whole thing. Everything. You know, we tried to get in the breakfast thing and it was like closed or something. We were like last in the queue. We we're going to try and sneak into the thing. Oh, it's just comedy gold. Absolute comedy gold. Yeah, we we're going to sneak in. There's all those people queuing. You wanted to sneak in. It was me who said, no, forget it. Otherwise, you <laughs> would have gone in. We could have bust them doors open and got ourselves a nice breakfast baguette. What did we have to have in the end? Couldn't even have something no ordinary, could we? It was like, we had to have something like, what do we have to have? Muffin or something? It was something ridiculous we had to have. Like a cookie or something, I can't remember what it was. I remember there was always weird people behind us. Well, they were probably ordinary people, but they seemed weird to me anyway. Oh dear. Really not going well, this. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get the power-ups. Whoa. Oh, jam away through, credit spam away through. They need to replace their carpets. Do you remember when I called in the room, Matt, and said, oh, this don't like this room because the lampshades are different sizes. <laughs> one was bigger than the other from one bed from the other. It was crap from that calf hatch at the hotel. Dry bacon, muffin, no sauce. Matt, we had to wait specially for that. That was fucking nuisance, that was. And then we had to hand deliver it. You should be grateful. That was better than what we had. We didn't even have bacon. We had to have a cake, I think. I'm sure we had a cake. I swear it was some sort of cake we had. Fucking weren't good fodder for a two and a half hour drive back, I'll tell you. They should be ashamed of themselves. Why didn't we get that breakfast? I think we must have got in there too late. I don't know. Fucking breakfast probably would have given us cancer anyway, so probably a bloody blessing in disguise. Rough old place, isn't it? But to be fair, I think not that any sort of event that goes on, I'll probably go to it, because let's be honest, <laughs> you might as well. Oh no. Oh dear.
No, it was, it was funny. It was fun. For fuck's sake, Matt's moaning about the food we got him. Remember when you fell over the toilet the year before, Sean? Fell over, I passed out and collapsed. Darius Cosmic Collection is the game of the decade. Yeah, I don't, I don't know them pleasures. What's that on PS4 or something? Does that include all the Darius games? Pretty impressive. I think I've heard rumours about it. Heard rumours that it's not 164 million percent correct. There's a slight resolution issue. The purists are saying don't play it. That's what I'm getting on the on the headset here from the producers in the studio. Look at that fish face. I'd never actually heard of Darius till I got G Darius on the uh, on the say on the Sony PlayStation One. And I just couldn't understand why it was so bizarre. Imagine that, that was the first uh, Darius game that you played. That thing's going to really funk me up if I was on the wrong side of it. Oh, it's going to funk me up when I run into it. Do you know one thing I did think about this, because I've got everything working now, is that while you may wait for a Neo Geo game to load, you could play a different system. It's not. Oh, whoa, 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 oh my god, can you believe that? Whoa. Shit, me. Jedi. Right, we're going to last. As soon as I bigged it up, we're going to last. Go for the bomb out, though, for the red fish. Surely this is going to finish him off. That was a right blast that night. Darren couldn't get in the bars of his t shirt. That was the first year we met Darren and Craig Manchester. The blood must have gone somewhere, Sean. Oh, God. Yeah, do you remember when I couldn't get in with the T-shirts? So I took, put it on inside out. <laughs> and I was getting in everywhere with it. <laughs> then we got in the place, put my T-shirt on the right way around. And then everyone in Manchester was saying, oh, I love your T-shirt, because they couldn't get in with one like that. I hadn't thought of it. See, what benefited me there was years of going clubbing. And, uh, like, my friends, like, they never used to let you in unless you had, like, shirts on and proper shoes. And uh, I remember some of my friends forgetting to put proper shoes on and I was getting black uh, electrical tape out of the car and wrapping their trainers in black electrical tape so when you went through the door, they looked like they were wearing shoes even though they were wearing trainers. Because believe it or not, I mean, believe it or not, you could go out. That's it, right, credits. But you used to have to dress smart, didn't you? Stuff I wrote too, Darren's take chat up line Sean getting owned by an angry bird yeah so yeah that was great that first Manchester one that was mental that was mental oh god that angry woman yeah anyway let's uh, let's put Neo Geo on that saves me having to keep getting out we've proven it works now that's, that's all we're left with but we won't play golf because uh Surely everyone gets fed up of seeing golf. Yeah, that bird went mental. She did. Do you remember she made you delete the stuff off your phone? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, like, embarrassing. She was quite nice as well. Uh, but, yeah, she weren't happy about being filmed. I remember it quite vividly, actually, which is surprisingly... Surprisingly. Surprising. Because, I uh, can't remember much else, but, uh, yeah, I do remember it quite vividly. I remember her saying, your mate's f filming us, you know. And I was like, uh, really? Yeah, these are people from YouTube. Like, that's all they do is film stuff. Like, so, I mean, I've never even touched her. Yeah, that bird went mental. The thing is, right, I think the world's changed since then. You know, I remember, uh, I remember Clonus Dolores uh, doing a video and he was filming like outside like a CEX or something and some bloke had a right pop at him. Saying you shouldn't be filming, you might film my daughter and all that. And sort of frit him up a bit. Probably about six years ago. Nowadays, everyone's filming everything, isn't it? People don't even look at you weird if you walk down the road speaking into a camera phone now. They don't know if you're on a video call or what you're doing. So it's... The world's changed a bit. I don't know I don't know if that bird would go so mad now. She's probably looking a bit ropey at this point. That was probably her peak, you know. She's probably... probably Probably gone down. 
downhill slightly. She may have four or five children at this point. None of which I am responsible for, may I like to add. Well, I wouldn't like to add, but I mean, I'm going to add anyway. Because obviously, she wasn't happy. She wasn't happy for filming in the nightclub. She probably wouldn't have been happy for filming in the bedroom. I think anything other than that is probably out of the question as well. So, you know, it's sort of a lesson learnt. But so, yeah, the, the, the girls in Manchester, they loved a bit of Tate and Yoko talk. They really did. Anywhere else, you may well have got filled in, but... Uh, there, yeah, they were interested. I think what appealed to them mostly, mainly was the fact that both words were quite quite short. Tate and Yoko. They were easy to understand. They could probably spell all of them. And I, th I think they found that somewhat endearing. And uh, I think that's why I sort of got away with it. Because uh, ordinarily, you know, sort of getting in the mist of a group of girls and discussing whether they would prefer Tate or Yoko would probably prove quite fatal. But in the Manchester area seem to be quite uh, welcomed, I must say. I don't know, I mean, maybe it was the accent, I don't know. Maybe thought I was a dreary broker from London. Anyway, this game burns off some serious calories. The weight I've lost playing this. I used to be 18 stone till I bought Ghost Pilots. And since then, it's just been slim fast, week after week, day after day. The loss is apparent. It's not coming back. What I usually, if I'm trying to go for a high score, I usually I eat like a, a family pack of Skittles before starting. But obviously today, I've only been able to have a couple of Lucas Aids. Uh, these games, it just makes everyone so angry. There's so many people trying to kill you. Yeah, we're just having a bit of a flyby, looking at the terrain. So we're drawing up some maps. S. Speed. I don't think it is speed. I think that's what increases your firepower. The thing about this game is you've got to uh, A, avoid the bullets and B, know when to give up in terms of sh trying to shoot with the enemies. Well, you're probably not going to be able to. Four to five children in all different colours. Ian stuff I wrote was quite impressed by your efforts with the girls. You were on to one after another. What are you drinking, Darren? Not a lot. The drinks ran out. I've been too, buddy, too busy button bashing to actually get a drink out there. But uh, I've got one now. This one's four pounds, actually. Transient. As one of my friends said, there's no point drinking expensive beer if you've already uh, a bit worse for wear because uh, you won't know the difference between this and Skull. And uh, he's probably right, but it's the one that I brought up. So, yeah, so Northern Monk. Uh, Transient. It's a hazy, double dry hopped IPA. 7%. So we're hitting it lightly. Do you remember years ago, right, when there used to be like 7 or 8% beers and it was like, uh, what was it? It was that, uh, oh God, what did they used to call it? But It was like treacle. I can't remember what it was called. Was it Tenant Super or something like that? Or it was like Gold Label or something. It was like horrendous, like it was difficult to drink. These days, like 7, 8% and it's like drinking, a, you know, nothing. Very smooth. To be honest, it's nice. I don't mind it, but uh, I don't think it's worth £4. I still have that Pink Bullets book, Stuff I Write, put together. Yeah, I do as well, Dale. I still have that. It's a nice little book. I think Stuff I Write is still doing bits and bobs. Oh, I've lost all my firepower. It's just such bad times. I enjoyed the podcast that uh, Matt did with Stuff I Wrote. He's not doing it like a play expo or something like that, and not some sort of handheld recorder, some sort of weird 1980s piece of equipment that you, uh, you happen to own. Oh, I think that Pink Bullets book was interesting. I remember supporting it. 
fan a fanzine. It was the first ever fanzine I've ever bought. And the last. Well, I've never I've never I've never been never found one that I've been interested in since. Not been on the lookout though, I've not been uh, actively seeking fanzines. I do find that literature is mainly wasted on me. Although I did find a book in a lorry once, or recently. It was about uh, Oh no. When the Brits sort of invaded uh, New Zealand. That was quite interesting. But it was a rare occurrence when I actually read it. May it may be added that it was a short story. It took me several months to read it. It's uh, all the same. Reading's good, but... I bought quite a few of these Sega type books, but... I flick through them once, but I never return to them. I really do wonder what's the point in, in continuing to buy that sort of thing. Which of course I don't, so... There's little to wonder about. Oh man, this game. So many things happening at once. Absolutely Bangladesh from behind. Sean and I were talking on my video and Ian Wilson himself is a bit in the background. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. I was at that Plex, but I remember seeing you and Sean. Uh, I remember that vid map with Ian Wilson in the background laughing out loud, yeah, saying that was the first time I told Matt G Minty was at Console Passion and it wasn't him. Matt went to ask him, are you G Minty fresh? <laughs> laughing out loud. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I remember I went to Retro Computer Museum once, yeah, and Ben Shimuso was there. And uh, I told him that you get free cakes, <laughs> and he was he was asking this woman about the free cakes, and I was there with Adam Murphy. I think we were just laughing at that stuff because I'd really talked him into expecting that he got free cakes for some reason. <laughs> it might have been snestastic. It wasn't snestastic. I've never seen Jeff at an event. No, I don't think I've ever seen G Menti at an event. Well, I remember seeing Matt and Sean at that time though. I'd only just come on YouTube, I think. Uh, I remember uh, seeing Steve Benway not and uh, not wanting to approach him, like feeling a bit embarrassed to approach him. I remember that. And then I went to like some uh, some one of these game things in Doncaster, and I was like literally walking out of there, and Steve Benway and uh, oh, I think the other guy's called Retro Replay or something like that. I can't remember what his name is, but anyway, they were walking like, the other the other way. They see me and just stopped me and ended up chatting for about half an hour to them. So, but obviously at that point they knew who I was. So I think I remember the free cake situation. Yeah, were you there, Dal? Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. Oh dear, I want to pick a game up. I'm talking about. I'm I'm waxing nostalgic about YouTube at the minute though. I am. I don't know why. It's just, it's just got to the point, I think. I think it's because I've been here for about 10 years. And now I'm realising that I've been here for a quarter of my life. I'm like, oh my God. I remember all the things that have happened. All the, all the different, like, you know, back and forths and whatnot. It's quite crazy, really, when you think about it. Didn't they have Ridge Race root right there in Leicester? Yeah, they did, yeah. Yeah, Steve Bayway went to all of them events back in the day. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I don't think I'll come and spoke to you and Sean because I was a bit embarrassed. I watched both your channels, but I remember the, I think that was the first one I ever went to, and uh, I just turned up there on my own, and uh, I seen um, Ninja Bear Rug and ended up uh, just spending like the whole weekend with him, which he probably thought, oh for fuck's sake, because what happened was um, I ended up getting absolutely smashed, and we went to this lot. Like, there's a video on my channel. We went to this lot like, after party thing, full of like. Uh, all these proper nerds. It was like a quiz about games and stuff there. And um, John Hare was there with his band and stuff. Uh, I was completely smashed out of me. I made a right nuisance of myself. Um, and uh, yeah, poor Ninja Bear Hug and his mate. They ended up having to chaperone me back to my hotel and everything. I remember we come out of the event and nearly got into a set to with <laughs> a couple of blokes about smoking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that was good. When I first met you, Dad, you were with Dal and some other guys. I bet you'd remember. Sausage fest after party. It proper was. Yeah, it proper was sausage fest after party. Yeah, I do remember actually, Matt. 
I think that was the second one I went to. I think that was at Manchester, though. The thing is, the more the more you get to know people, the you know, the less awkward these things are, aren't they? If I, if I met you now, it'd be completely different to probably the last time I met you, like so. Police and art, maybe. Police and art was there, yeah. He used to always go to the Red Sox Computer Museum events. He's the one who got me into them. He's the one who. I remember the f the first one I went to of him. Yeah, was in this lot like, village hall place. Yeah, it was the most. It was the most grimmest place ever. Yeah, and they had the uh, Jaguar VR machine. It was the first time it'd ever been showcased, and it was proper sweaty nerd fest. It was just like all the. It was like in this village hall. There was all these tables lined up and just a projector screen at the end. There was people selling games for peanuts. Uh, x file went to it. I think there was a video and there were some photos made. I remember saying to x file do you want to sit on my knee? And he took great offence because obviously he's not, he's not the tallest of people, is he, Marcus? So... <laughs> yeah, that's when I first met Adam Murphy. That's when... Do you remember when there was like all this Ashen clone saga and stuff? They were amazed I didn't know anything about it. I was like, no, nah, I've only just started making videos like so. It was Ian Wilson the reason why I got into making videos. If it wasn't for watching Ian Wilson's videos, or maybe I'd watch somebody else's, but if it wasn't for seeing him, I wouldn't have made videos. I remember making videos, and when I first made them, I didn't want to do commentary because I felt like I was stepping on his toes. I mean, when you think about that now, that's fucking ridiculous, but uh, that's what I felt at the time. I'd have to just, I was just going to put them up with like proper stereo feed from my hi fi as if that was something different. Weird times. Back then, there wasn't so many channels, was there, so... I'm sure I saw you at Manchester and I was with my missus. Yeah, you did. I said something to you, Sean, and you was like, who the fuck is that weirdo? I think I said something about, uh, are those glasses scanline enabled or something like that? I'm sure I did. Can I go back into some memories now? This is like some sort of, uh, what's the name? Therapy session. Hey, oh, what's going on there? Three reds, don't lose focus. Could be a natural at this game. Do you know what? I just looked there and I thought, oh, do you know what? I bet it's still on, I bet it's still on the camera of just me. <laughs> I've done that a few times on these streams. Yeah, I remember that. You know you're at a nerve first when there's nothing more sweat than oxygen. Yeah, yeah, that was it. The glasses. Oh, my God. I can't believe you remember. He was the man for Japanese Mega Drive back then. Enjoyed Ian Wilson's channel. Yeah, I loved Ian Wilson's channel. Absolutely adored it. It was just something about him. I just found him so endearing. I really did. He, he really, uh, he really ignited my interest in Japanese Mega Drive games. It was totally his fault. He really made me anal about condition. He's the reason I sold a lot of my original collections. It was in bad condition. I was like, I thought this. I don't. I want everything to be mint. I don't know why I should have kept it. But... Oh man, I'm gonna die here badly. Please, all the greens. Yes, come on. This game reminds me of gambling, you know. Like when everything's going wrong, all of a sudden it works out. Well, maybe not this time, but... I'm in trouble. I can sense it. Oh, I'm in trouble. Who was that guy who always said, Oh, an odd guy, was it Lefarious? Is that who it was? Lefarious, I'm sure it was Lefarious. I, can't, I wish I could, oh, you used to be able to do the impression as well, but. Oh, an odd guy, no. All I can do is Birmingham now. I've been transfixed with doing Birmingham for years. I can only do Birmingham accents now. Or oh, I can sort of melt into Eastern European as well, but. I can't do the forest anymore. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. I know, it's sad, isn't it? And the memories I've got. Remembering all the wrong things. If I remember something at school, 
it would have been all right, but <laughs> it's only YouTube I've got any knowledge of. <laughs> Specialist subject on Mastermind. YouTube, Retro Gaming Community, 2008 to 2018. <laughs> Let's play a fighting game, come on. He sounds like Gary Barley. Yeah, he does a bit, doesn't he? Do you remember that other Mega Drive collector from Australia? Had a weird name. Oh, Solomon Summit. Yes, I do. I used to, yeah, I used to be, really enjoy his videos. The one who was like paying the mega bucks from from Japan. And he used to sell roses, didn't he, or something like that. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure his name was Ryan, you know. I'm sure his name was Ryan. I'm sure, unless you're about something else, I'm sure his name is Ryan. Uh, yeah, fascinating character. So, I mean, there used to be just some really, like, wild... I remember um, Ben Cyanide Breath Mints came on here the other week talking about uh, Demo Monster and all that. Proper blast from the past. Totally crazy. That's him. SNK Neo Gym, that was another great channel. Yeah, I used to talk to Sal on uh, Skype. But it just became another one of those things. It was just, like, constant, so... I haven't spoke to him for years now, I suppose. I did that podcast with him once. That was ace. Really enjoyed doing that. I could be playing a Mega Drive in between, Mega Drive game in between this loading, to be fair. Yeah, Lefarious. I, I, I remember talking to Lefarious. He brought this book out, didn't he? Something about NES games or something. That was at one of the first uh, play expos I went to. Again, I was a bit starstruck then by Lefarious because it's, you know... I remember going to a play expo, I think it was the like second or third one I went to, and I went with Craig, and uh, some guy asked if he could take off his photo with us, and I was like, what the fuck? He was like, yeah, I'll, I'll watch you all the time, and I'll have a photo with you. And I, I was like, I can't believe this, someone who watches YouTube wants a photo with somebody else, but uh, I don't know why I couldn't understand it, actually, because, well, I, I, I'm not the sort of person to get a photo with someone, but, like, uh, yeah, it was weird. Yeah, Lefaris is a nice bloke, he is. He was dead sound when I when I chatted to him. I must have talked to him for ages. I don't... I mean, he, he at one point he uh, started... He started, like, reviewing every NES game, I think, and I think he had a website for all that. Then I think he got fed up with all that and got rid of all that. Then I think he started getting back into it again and writing reviews and things. I think he was into that. I think he was a lot into, like, the sort of would you call it journalism the you know the sort of uh, I suppose you would what they call it video game journalists don't they so those are fucking brilliant those meetups yeah well we'd all love a fucking meetup now to be honest if they said everything was over and you could go to a play expo tomorrow I'd go to it to be fair because uh, yeah it, when you I mean you know it's like anything isn't it when you look back at it, you can always uh, you can always pick out some some points that made you laugh. So, and that's really what it's all about, isn't it? And go in. And go in. Who's that? Amberlin. I put another game on terrible. Right? I'm gonna be Keith though. I think I've been Keith before. I think the thing I like about Keith is his name. So you're hoping to hook up with the prince, eh? Hey up, hey up, Keith. Hold on. I think this Clara would probably be a pain in the arse ordinarily. I'm lucky to have met him in the first fight, I feel. Stress level. I've played this game before, but God knows what happens. Oh yeah, like that. Can't repeat it, but I like it. Oh. Some mad things going on in the background. What do they look like? They look like some of the 80s. There's a special move in me somewhere, I swear. It's not that. It's definitely not that. I've got to hit it. I've only got two seconds. One second. 
gonna beat me. Time up. I remember that wrestling mask you had with you once. That freaked me right out. Quite unexpected. It's Karika de Dayakatsuku. No way, Clara. That's not playing fair. Keith will see to you. Whoa, bring out the hammer. The band hammer. Oh man, I want to do that. Wow, he turned me into a chicken, unbelievable! Have you ever been so thrilled to have been smashed into a goose? Crazy, I wish I could do something like that. There's a way, if you've got the manual, you can find out how to do that. I love that. I'd love to turn her into a goose. Well, I'm just going to keep spamming moves in the hope something can come about. We're getting close to the timeout. Oh man, I couldn't get past the first fight. I got him through the back doors last time. I think someone gave me a broken band. No sweat. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, actually, uh, that's a regret of mine, not just going into the event and having a look around. To be honest, I was more interested in just going out and having a few beers. I should have gone and had a look around, I suppose. I'll have a look around next time. Definitely. This princess prefers hard bodies. Imagine if you couldn't even get up to the first stage. Well, that could be a reality. Whoa, great fireball though. Whoa, that hemp hammer hits from far away. Oh no. I gotta admit, I'm not feeling confident about beating this girl. I think she's got my number. I don't think it matters who I pick. She's got me. See what I mean? She's got the moves like Jagger. I can't even touch her. She's, she's dodging what I'm doing. Oh, it's not that again. No. No, not my ducky again. All right, my duck. <laughs> she's, she's not a duck out of me. What's this game? Oh, I think it's is it Maramen, Maram, or something? Maram, I don't even know what it is. I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. It's good looking, but I am really bad at it, as you can tell. Like most fighting games, but I don't know why I pick fighting games. Just because I'll tell you why I pick them because they're just so good looking on me and you. You just have to appreciate how good they look, even when you suck. You still got to appreciate how good they look. Look at the thousands of Adirian fans in there. This is this was before the COVID regulations came in. Obviously, you see, there's no masks. Well, actually, those people at the forefront potentially could be wearing masks. Um, can I win? I don't think I can. We're getting close. This is very close. Someone's going to die here. And it's Clara. It does look nice. Yeah, it is nice. No candy cabs that year. They very disappointed. It ended up at the new ZX Spectrum store. Oh, which year are you on about? The first time. God, every time, every arcade machine at Play Expo, like, you're lucky, you consider yourself lucky if you go on a machine where the controls work. They just all break down after about 15 seconds. Every machine needs an, in, an independent uh, operator, engineer on standby. Yes, it's a good game, but uh, I absolutely suck at it, as we are seeing here. It's very evident. Hello and evening all. Hello, k Gamer. How art thou? Well, let's switch to Mega Drive, shall we? Uh, I'll 
turn the Saturn off. We've already played the Dreamcast. I can't bother to plug in a controller for the uh, for the Super Famicom. That much is true. Whilst the Neo Geo game loads, we should play a Mega Drive game. I think that's really the way forward. So what could we load on this? Could be anything. It is going to be not King of Gladiators. All good, thanking you, kind sir. Legend of Success, so how do you put it as favourite? That is going as a favourite. I think that is a good game. I don't care what other people say about it being a bad game. They don't know what they're on about. The problem with saying that's a bad game is you don't know how to play it. That's what the problem is. That's the only thing. I think we'll go Neo Drift out, but while that's happening, because that'll take ages, well, it might take at least 30 seconds, which is probably... Oh, it's going quick. It's going quick. I think I'll just wait. It's easy to wait. Joe laughing out loud. Evening, Matt, Daz, Dal, X, et al. Yeah, Joe's good. I've had some great fun playing uh, Legend of Successful Joe, whatever it's called. People saying that's the worst game of the Neo Geo. I don't think it is. I don't think it's the worst game. I'm not saying it's the best game. I don't think it's the worst. I've enjoyed playing it. I think it's a deep and complex boxing simulator there. You just need to learn the moves. You need to have them like, sort of put on the wall. That's the only way you can be successful at Legend Successful Joe. This one, this is one of my favourite games on Neo Geo. I'm just playing the same games over and over, I swear, every stream. I just pick the games I want to play. No one ever, no one even mentions want to see any particular game anyway, so. This is a beauty though, God, what a game. This is cracking. Probably won't do very well at it now, but. I want Salik. I've always had this problem with which car do I want. I, I really like Salik. I like the Impreza. I want, I'm going to go Impreza. I hear Sean had a clear out today. If he goes on tomorrow, I want to see clean drawers. He'll probably send you a picture of his pants now. I think there's been massive, mo massive, uh, massive moves made today. That's what I'm expecting. I think there's been, I'm gonna go drive right past his house tomorrow and sort of see what's been thrown out. So I think there's probably been a considerable, if you go into his wheelie bin, I think there's gonna be a considerable amount of stuff in there that's probably at least resellable. I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised to find the odd Atari Jaguar in there, to be honest. Yeah, I think there'll be a couple of uh, couple of Xbox 360s, maybe even an Xbox One. Potentially, there's going to be some sort of old PC case that's been disbanded. Still quite useful to some people, but might be a couple of old scalers in there as well. Yeah, it's been a bit of a clear out for definite. Might be a couple of uh, Neo Geo AS games in there. Series X is in the skip. If it's good, who play? If it's good, play it. Who needs Chuck Rock? I never got on with Chuck Rock, but I think I said this on stream before. One of my friends, he is adamant that Chuck Rock is a great game. He is absolutely adamant that it's a good game. He will hear nothing bad about Chuck Rock. If you say Chuck Rock ain't a good game on Mega Drive. He's just like, what are you on about? Oh, it's terrible, I can't remember it. Awful platformer. He's just like, no, 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 no. You just can't play it properly. No, I'd say, no, you, you was obviously, you got bought that game and you had to learn to love it. And that's all there was to it, it's not a good game. But he will not have it. He totally doesn't believe it's a bad game. 
Oh, I wouldn't have got there. Why don't I ever just go up there? This road is terrible. Look at this. We put corners together like this. I'm running out of time. Sugar. Got to stop talking. Got to start driving. As simple as that in this game. No time for me. Needless natter. Look at that. Stover out of the way. We're out of time here, kid. Need your scrappy alley out of the way. Come on. Oh, did we make it? We made it. Oh, there's all sorts in that skip, I tell you. Probably kit out my whole house with the sort of stuff he's chucking out. A couple of uh, leopard skin rugs. They're going to waste. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what's happening, I am. We've not been given any further information, we don't know. It could all be speculation, all of this. It, we've not seen any circumstantial evidence that proves any of this is true. It's just pure word of mouth. We don't know. It's just anticipation. It's sending the imagination to overdrive. That's the reality. Oh, they so sneaked me on that turn, didn't they? My co-driver is not the greatest, I don't think. He's definitely not my friend. Oh, we're into icy territory. I'm going to take one of these shortcuts soon. Not now, though. Smash on cones up first. No, don't do me, you bastard. The mood lights are binned. And I think I have the mood lights. He loves their mood lights. They won't be binned, I'll tell you now. Never seen a man more impressed with lighting than that. The last time I seen a man that impressed with lighting was the time that Sean put Tesco's carrier bag around his, uh, around his sort of uh, <coughs> ordinary bulbs. And then made a video on YouTube just declaring that was a good way to diffuse light. Uh, which was still, again, we're getting nostalgic about YouTube. One of my favourite moments. One of my favourite moments over the last 10 years, that was. Really was. That's brought so much joy to my life, that video did. You cannot understate it. Absolutely. Absolute fucking classic. The fact he's left it on there, just legendary. Amazing. So fucking brilliant. Just loved it. Absolutely loved it. I remember that laughing out loud. Ha oh, ha, oh, fucking hell, it was brilliant. So good, so, so good. Let's do it, let's put Mega Drive on in between. Let's try and do it. Let's cross the streams. Oh, that's not crossing the streams. You can afford to leave the Mega Drive on 24 seven. I mean, they're cheap as chips, aren't they? But Neo Geo's, you know what I mean? What number's Mega Drive, is it two? No, that's Dreamcast, it's not, is that three? What's that? Here we go, four. Trouble with all these EverDrive things and all this emulation and that—it's just—it's there's so much stuff available, isn't there? It's it's mind blowing, really. What could we choose? Should we do Olympic gold? I want to do Olympic gold. <laughs> this will get the viewers down. No one wants to see Olympic gold. I tell you now. I remember getting nostalgic. Now I remember my cousin got this right, and I thought it looked realistic. In '92, right in '92, this was realistic. Sean is just really into the latest stuff. I like the, the lighting department at B&Q. Could wander around there for a minute. Amazing tech. <laughs> oh, God. Sean's got proper lights now. He's taking this seriously. He's got the proper gear. We're, we're trying to... We're, we're just constantly pushing the boundaries. You know, he's got the lighting. I'll put it in American. Is that English? It's kind of English, isn't it? I always say, do you, do you want to go? For, I'm going to go for the full Olympics. It's suggesting training, but I'm going to go full. I want to be Darren Steed. Oh, that's, yep. Yeah. Full Olympics. Darren Steed. I'm ready. Starting competition. 
Full Olympics, Darren Steed, I'm ready, starting competition. Uh, I'm going to go for the club level, to be honest. I'm not ready for National Olympic at this point, a little bit. Uh, because of the COVID, because of the coronavirus, sort of, uh, I fell, bit, fell a bit below Olympic standard, and I've just sort of gone to the club standard there. I hope I pressed the right button. See, here we go. We've got to watch the open ceremony. He's about to light a torch. Could never skip this. This is as close as you get in this year to the Olympics. Here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Never mind an opening ceremony like this. Really is something special. Look at that. Release the doves. Off they fly into the into the air. Okay, we're into the heat one of it looks like a running race. Hold on. On your marks. Shit. Go on, you bastard. Go on, son. Go on. I'm bashing like I've never bashed before. <sighs> Jesus, I'm going for a world record here. Not bad. 10.66. It's a great year. That's exactly the same year that my hair goes back to. So, Darren Steed. He's, that was only heat one. Shut up. I can't do that again. I'm knackered. Let's go back to Neo Geo. It's a lot easier. Heat two, I'm not in that, surely. Who won that? I'm not interested. It's me again. Am I just watching this? Am I playing? I'm just watching this. I'm not even in this. Hey, Jones. Ooh, Olympic gold. Got this on Game Gear. This is it. Yes, they are fully remote. I hear they're linked directly to the OSSC for surround effects. No harm meant. Hey, Jones. I don't, I'm confused here. I never knew you had to watch this. I, my cousin had a Game Gear as well. Finals. I'm in the final here. I want everyone to put the, get their fingers crossed here because Darren Steed in the finals of the 100 metres at the Olympics. 1992. Everyone ready? Bastards, they're going to fucking go on, Darren. Go on, Darren. Go on, Mr. Steed. Look at him go now. This boy's got it. We're going to get gold. Going for gold. Going for gold. 10.50. He's broke his previous best. Unbelievable. That was great going. Really am impressed by that. Well done, Darren Steed. I pat myself on the back, but it's a bit awkward. First gold medal I've got in my life. I know they've got the name slightly wrong, but I'll still take it. Look at that. Imagine that winning the gold. Here we go. Hammer throw. Gizoni's in the house. Great performance. I know. Here we go again. Hammer throw. How many times do we have to go round? What do you have to press? What's nothing happening? I'm pressing the buttons. See, we're starting. Press C again. I've done it. I've thrown it. Is that good? No, the world record's 84 metres. I think I'm going to need a second throw here. I think, if I remember right, you press C to get it going, then you press A and B to... Oh, was that round? Oh, here we go. C to get it going, then A and B, then C again, then C again. Let's see how we go. Oh, 59, it's better. It's better, but not enough. How are we doing on the rankings there? Still last, everyone's doing 72 metres. Round three, all to play for. Enough in this game for two in a red. Come on, what can we hope for now? That's all I can do. 61.4 is the best I've got. Hello, all. Next time you load this up, you can go straight to Olympic level. I don't know, I failed on the hammer throw there, Matt. What did I get? Nothing. Barcelona, such a beautiful place. Archery. Sure to fare better here, archery. Shit, what the f... What? Aim at the right place, mate. Come on. Up, 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 up. We're out of time in a minute. What's going on? Jesus, this guy's loose on his aim. Come on, boy. You're not getting anywhere near. Oh, forget it. Terrible. What am I missing here? The board. That's right. That's what we're missing here. There's something I'm missing here. Why is he not aiming there? Hmm. Hmm, doing something wrong here. Mainly not hitting the board. I think I've left it too long to press the button. Ah. 
Let's try now. No, still no good. Is it motion controlled? No. It's going to look, look like a zero all the way here. Round one. I don't think we need to see round two, do we? I think round one was bad enough. Oh, they've let me for round two. Why can I not get it to go over? Oh, no, that's not the button to press. No, that's definitely not. Oh, hold on. No. I just can't get it to move. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Apart from everything. It's really falling apart, the archery. Remember that time when I won gold in the 100 metres? Hopefully we don't get round three, because... Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, let's go back to Neo Geo now. That should have loaded at this point. Now, we did have a remote control. I think Neo Geo is number one. Oh, it is, thank God. Even Matt thought you meant to stream this evening. Matt Lendax, the Wii Moat, mate. All right, Stu. Is your joystick broken? Jim Bowen, aim for the middle. Rolling on floor. Awful aim. Has Matt had his spanner tightened this evening? The tightening and tightening of that spanner has occurred. Yeah, we've had to have a moderator's meeting before this stream started. And uh, to say it was a heated affair would be perhaps be an understatement. Got a couple of readers' letters coming to this stream actually. And I may or may not read out in the near future. Although one of them does involve the child support agency, so I'm not sure for legal reasons if that can actually be repeated here live on YouTube. But, uh, it's actually a 47 year old sort of uh, applying for custody. And I'm sure I'm looking for some sort of repayment scheme for child benefits unpaid. I'm trying to tell him all weekend that. Uh, I'm actually younger than him, but uh, it's not. It's falling on deaf ears at the moment. Matt did stream, yes, mate. Reckon YouTube took him down for bad sports or bad ports, bad emulation. No, YouTube took him down for bad emulation. They said it wasn't good enough. So Matt's ready to go to the next level. He's so close. He's so close to obtaining. Game capture Nirvana. He doesn't even realise. It's so, he's so close. Oh, I can smell it. That's how close he is. It's unbelievable. Oh, I didn't really, really didn't want to be here. Not here in the street, but here in this place with a uh, spaceship. Bad timing. Great looking game on this. Play it on every stream. You may have noticed. Every stream features this game. Great looking game though, this is a real joke. A real beauty. If you had an arcade cab, if you had one of those uh, four slot Neo Geo arcade cabs, it'd be nice to have this as one of the games. Definitely. Whole host of R type influence here, though, obviously. Let's not forget that. Boom! Talked to myself for five minutes at the end, didn't realise it had crashed. How's the Benton and Hedges? Evening Matt, 40 minutes stream this evening. And we're on eight I think. Was a bit patchy in places. That was a good stream though Matt. We've got the essential chemicals to uh, do a good stream. You just need to get those few extra bits and uh, sort out your internet. Drop talk talk. Drop them like the fat girl you're in use for sex. Come on. 
They're no good. Get on the plus net. Plus net. Now do you proud? Good, good people, I tell you. We ring up. There's no Indian call centre, Matt. It's Yorkshire. Yorkshire. You're not, you're not speaking to Bangladeshi. It's proper. You're not wondering if there's a problem with your phone or just a problem in understanding the voice on the other end. You're in safe hands. It's worth it. Definitely worth it. No two ways about it. Even Sean uses them, so come on. It's gotta be good. Talk to That's just a mobile phone contract company. They'll be selling you some sort of TV rubbish and all sorts. Don't watch that TV, it's junk. Don't bother with it. Forget Talk Talk. They're trash. They can't do nothing for your stream, Talk Talk. Them things really freak me out, them crap things. They're everywhere, all over our type, all over this game. I don't like them, but feel uneasy. We'll find something like that in the bath. Oh no! Absolutely smashed. We have 14 days to call off. We're on our 18 month contract. What? What? Well, hold on. Daz, thought you said something about hedge damages the other night. Any more info, laughing out loud? Not that a lot to discuss on this stream for legal reasons. Laugh aloud, your quick stream this afternoon. You gave a few seconds of bonus for stuff. You thought you stopped it. I looked some around nine. and didn't see. Probably finished when I looked. This is a beautiful game, definitely. Best shoot on the AS. I think it could be. It could be, yeah. It could be, Dale, yeah. Yeah, it could be. I mean... Oh man, that's the same thing that got me last time. I can't believe that. Wake up. That's what I need to do. Not going to happen though this time of day. I've got to be honest. Laugh my ass off. Hedge ban. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's the sort of thing I'd have to discuss at a gaming expo. I can't I can't mention it for legal reasons here on the stream. But let's put it this way. If uh, if I don't like it, I'll take it down. <laughs> Whether it's mine or not. I'll have to deal with the legal repercussions of such actions, of course. Yeah, this is a very nice game. Absolute uh, work of arts. Oh, I can't believe it! <laughs> it's like Jeremy Beadle. So you're getting killed by the same thing over and over again. Let's make exactly the same mistake. I'm in exactly the same position. So I'm going to do it again. What can I do to break the mold? Oh shit! <laughs> oh dear me. Go back to Mega Drive. Okay, no problems. Neighbours, eh? Love the neighbourhood. Stu, Dad, did a bonus pull-out feature last night. Oh dear. I, I thought you were going to tell anyone about that, Matt. I don't think you're going to let anyone know about my bonus pull-out feature that I did last night. Well, I thought because of regulations would keep that sort of tight-lipped. I didn't know it was going to go uh, viral. And it was going to be mainstream on the uh, YouTube gaming stream. I had no idea. Oh, I didn't know about that. Who's the grass laughing out loud? Exactly. What's your speed up though then? If it's 7 megabytes per second, it should stream sweat 720, mate. Okay, no problems. Matt. Yeah, but he lives in like... He's got a 14-story house. Where he is in like the witching tower. You don't get no signal, do you? Ethan, you can't get Ethernet leads that long. So... 
Yeah. I reckon Matt might have grassed me up, you know. I reckon that's what's happened. Get out of that contract, Matt. Talk, if that's the best talk talk can do, forget it. They're not worth a wank. Definitely not. Rubbish. They're no good. Get a plus now. They do you proud. Also, don't forget to uh, do that thing. What's it called? Can't remember what it's called. Put Sega socks in. And uh, I get some money off my bill. Recommendation or something. We could go back to Olympic gold while this is loading. That's the technology we've got now. Olympic gold. We're beyond the uh, archery. I didn't win the gold there, but I've won, I've won one gold already, so let's not forget that. So a lot of people forget that. Let's not forget that. Still eighth. That's not bad. 52 points in the Olympics. You know, I've not even trained for this. What? Is this hurdles? Oh, I've already done the 100 metres. I don't want to be uh, controversial, but that guy who's doing the starter gun looks a bit like Adolf Hitler. Oh, shit. Jump the hurdles, jump the hurdles. Go on, he's getting his stride back now. Come on, son. Come on, don't be last year, mob. I ain't even going to get... Oh, I'm not even going to... That's it. We, we didn't even get to wrap set two there. 1546. Darren Steed, he's well out. I'm not even getting into heat two. We'll watch it anyway, we'll watch it anyway. But... Odd one out with them shorts. Wiring search main Ethernet extenders. Oh yeah, okay. Oh my god, use them Ethernet wiring extenders. They're 40 quid. Terrible race. Well, I'll meet you outside my house tomorrow, Matt, and I'll, I'll, I will challenge you to a race. 14 miles. We'll be jumping over fences, not hurdles. So I'll see you in the morning. Make sure you wear your lycra because uh, I like to keep things in uniform. I'm not in the finals, but we'll watch it anyway. So I'm interested to see who will win because these guys, you can really, there's a there's a lot of difference between these guys. There's no there's no genetically modified. Doesn't that bloke with the starter gun? Does, was that a false start? He does look like a bit like a young Adolf Hitler, doesn't he? He's missing a moustache, but other than that, is that three false starts? This is unbelievable. I've never seen this in all the years I've been uh, I've been spectating Olympic gold. Three full starts. Over to the fourth now. Can we go? We're off. The race is on. The race is on finally. And look at number eight there coming through on the final furlong. Really filling up pace. He's only going to hit one. Oh, look at him. He's come out of nowhere on lane three. He's absolutely beasting it. Well done. Ethernet in one adapter, 13 amp plug, other adapter in operation at end of house, Ethernet out, job done. Yeah, no, Matt hasn't got ordinary electric. He hasn't got electric where he lives. It's all solar. So it's one of them eco homes. So I'm going to go for the vault. I'm not going to pass. I'm not going to chicken out because I know, I know how much this means to people to see this done. So let's go. I'm pressing the buttons. I think I need to press C now. Oh, shh. That, I didn't get that right. Okay, I think there'll be another attempt. That's not fair. Okay. Attempt two. 5.9. I feel that's a bit low for my player, but uh, we'll see. Oh, shit. How do you do it? I thought he pressed it once and pressed it again. and I must be missing something there. I'm sure he pressed it once. Uh, last chance here now. Come on. If everyone can raise their hands above the heads and do some sort of slow applause. No, it wasn't. You didn't do it quick enough. For fuck's sake, dead end. Same sprite times eight. I might look at the Ethernet thing, Dars Tar. He won't. He's saying that. He won't look at that. Where he lives, they don't do Ethernet leads that long. He, he doesn't have electric. Hold on. I've got to, oh shit me, how do I know what I'm doing? Is this, does it tell me? I am fancy doing, uh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do, I'm doing that. Yep, I'm ready. Okay, everyone prepare yourself. Look at that. Whoa, here we go. This is looking good. Off he goes. Remember the moves I said I'd do? That's looking nice. I like that. Um, hey, 2.0. Well, I thought that was a solid effort, to be honest. 
I'd have been happy with that in real life situation. Love diving games. Ah, oh, man, diving. You got to love games like this where ninety percent of the gameplay is trying to work out what to do. All Wi-Fi internet. They may have well wired up a Mickey Mouse alarm clock. I think that's what Matt has got wired up for his internet. Actually, I think it is a Mickey Mouse alarm clock. I'm doing this manoeuvre. Here we go. My diver has been in training for a long time for this event. So, it would be appreciated. And off we go. Look at that. And I'm going in. Is that a good dive? I felt I felt it was good at a point, And then he sort of pulled out of it. Sort of reluctantly pulled out there. I mean, he saved an un, un, unneeded child. But at the same time, it would have been nice to see the dive complete. I'm going for something simple now. Because I know that the judges were trying to say that I've been trying to do too much fancy manoeuvres. Let's go for it now. In we go. In we go. From behind. Shh, I still couldn't do it. I couldn't. I, I've, the closest they come was one time. The second time. So I didn't manage to get gold there either. Why didn't that score less than the bomb you did first? Muff. Crap. You went in on your stomach. Matt's an analogue guy. 0, 0.0, laughing out loud. Yeah, well, don't fucking laugh yet, Matt, because there's four rounds of this fucker. Yeah, so... And I'm fucking ready. This time I'll do it. This time I'll prove you wrong. This is when I show my doubt... The people who doubt me, I'll show them the difference here. Watch this. Watch and learn, Matt. You'll be asking me for Olympic gold tips after this. What button do you press? Dive, you fuck. Oh, fucking hell. Hey, what's that? That's... That's my best round so far. Oh, I don't understand this. How I'm supposed to do this. I've still got round five though, so let's not despair. Does it just keep going until you get it right? We could be here a long, long time. There was a bit of reluctance. See, pulling out last night. <laughs> That's what I told her. That's what I said the next day. She said, I can't remember. I literally can't dive. Not point. I've done that twice, Matt. Can you believe it? Not point. Have you ever watched the Olympics? There can't be six rounds. Didn't remember. Does anyone remember? Is there anyone here when I won the 100 metres at the very beginning here? Is anyone old enough to remember that? Stu, the bomb, laughing out loud. Yeah. Heat one. This is swimming now, Matt. No, I'm good at swimming. That's a lie. What do you press? Look at him go. Do you have to press? I think you have to press the C button to turn round. If I remember correctly. I don't remember though. I've pressed C. I've turned round. Go, 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 go. Surely only one more go. Why is everyone getting ahead of me? Have I lost the rhythm? What the funk? I'm pressing the wrong buttons. He slowed right down, this guy. What's happened? Did he hit his head when he hit the. F I've lost my swimming here. I'm not getting a gold here. Starting off so well, what happened? Must be a problem with the pad. You just give up this guy, he might as well not bother. You carry on mate, I'll just finish off my beer. Next up, in the piranha pool. Well this guy is not even bothering, I don't know if there's a, there's a compatibility with this controller or what's happening. Look at everyone else just bopping around there at the end. Showing off with the swimming hats on. Again, everybody's a clone of each other in this game. So I think that's I think we're out of this now. We're not gonna have to go for second heat. We're out of it. We're not in it. We're not invited. We're finished. Look at him go. You can hardly tell who's who. It's a nightmare for the commentators this event. I don't remember the hundred meters, but I do remember when the C sixty four had the ability to show more than just white characters. Like a day at the baths. Kids pool is next door. <laughs> It's going well. This is a very close race. It's exciting to watch. I'm glad I came along for this event. I would have been sad to have missed this. Like a day at the baths. I like hypersports when the taco guy gulps for air. The tash guy. The old tashy. The finals. We've got to watch the finals. Then I'll leave you with a video I've made. Uh, oh, Carl. God, yeah. Carl, thank you very much. Those games showed up today. 
Uh, I have got a little video about them, but I'll have to leave you with a longer video I've got first. Actually, I'll have to leave you. Oh, it's, it's if uh, it's confusing. But uh, yeah, they've shown up. So uh, thank you very much. Look forward to trying them out. Actually, I forgot all about it. Uh, I didn't even know what games there were. So it was quite a surprise. And a few things turn up today. That's featuring the little video I've made. But uh, what I'll do is I'll go back to Neo Geo. Because that should have loaded up. And I'll just pop the uh, toilet and get another beer. And I'll leave this little video I've made. So I can confirm my brand new capture setup along with the OSSC now officially works. The next project is going to be sorting out the Dream Pie, and I've just acquired today the disc I need. I think it's called Dream On or something. It's version 1.5 anyway, and a USB keyboard to set it up. So hopefully, at some point tomorrow, I can uh, connect with Adam, and he can talk me through exactly what I need to do. So what I'm going to talk about here, just very quickly, is this setup and a few things that found out along the way. So uh, first of all, the most important thing, or something that's not very well documented, if you've got one of these Extron devices, which is a wideband RGB distribution amplifier, which basically converts one input into two outputs, it will only accept clean sync, so you will need to either have cables that are all clean sync, which doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work if you bought them from retrogamingcables.co.uk, but the easiest way to definitely do that without having to buy all new cables is to buy sync strike. So First of all, this needs clean sync. Second of all, for whatever reason, after a while, this sync strike didn't like being powered by the pin 8 of the RGB SCART. Eventually, well, after a few hours, I ended up having to get a 5 volt power supply. Works perfectly now, probably worth mentioning. Now, as far as the rest of the wiring goes, as long as it's a clean sync, we have got a conversion there from a VGA port back to these BNC connectors. No problem at all. So once that signal's in here, as a clean sync, that'll pass perfectly. And it will pass to the television, in my case the Sony PVM, and the OSSC. So it's all very, very nicely done at this point. Of course... If I didn't have this and I just had a device like something like this but it outputted two outputs so one could go to a television and one could go to the capture card I wouldn't have needed any of this and I wouldn't have needed a sync strike and obviously those things get harder and harder to find whereas these DA2 RGB HVs are still sourceable and uh, it's a cheap solution in duplicating an RGB signal as you can see there so I'm really pleased with it over the moon short story the 5 volt power cable there I had to order one three times from Amazon until I got one that actually arrived and worked so uh, moral of the story is don't think just because it's Amazon Prime your problems will be solved within 24 hours might not quite be the case so OSSC doing what it does doubling those lines and uh, of course that then gets fed to my OBS and it just looks crystal clear I don't want to be big headed or anything like that but I think pretty much now the, the, the footage that I'm capturing looks as good as anything I've personally seen on YouTube outside of people emulating these things with highly powerful PCs uh, as far as it comes to real hardware 
I, I can't foresee things getting any better. So that's that. And one other thing while we're here briefly with this random video. The may or may not ever make it to the proper channel. This could just be a feature as part of the live stream. New pickup. Never been keen on these sort of VHS replacement type cases, but it's the only NES game. Oh no, it's not. It's the only NES game other than golf that I don't actually have the box for. And a uh, box Castlevania is pretty expensive, so went out all out and bought this for six nine ninety nine on eBay. And uh, it's a really nice case, really nice artwork. The only thing I will say, and uh, maybe this is the personal preference, but the person who sold it to me, they sent like two bits of paper. One of them was about giving feedback and make sure you give five stars because four stars is no good and this, that and the other. That went on for a whole sheet of A4 paper. And then there was another piece of paper saying how I was helping out charities by buying this because they donated some of their profits towards charities. Didn't mention which charity or anything like that. I don't know, it just kind of left a weird taste, I think. I think that's the best way to explain it. Like, I don't need to know all that. Like, if I'm going to leave you five-star feedback, I'll leave you five-star feedback. And if I'm not, well, don't worry about it. Your piece of A4 paper isn't going to change my mind. And as far as these charities go, you know, I'm not a big believer in uh, giving money to charities directly because I think there's a lot of people t skimming that uh, money off the top but that's a story for another day but uh, yeah that was the only thing about it but uh, if anyone's interested I will share the link because they seem to be pretty good quality cases despite the kind of strange communication afterwards hopefully not one of those people who's going to start harassing me sending me uh, messages on eBay saying you recently bought an item from us and you've still not left feedback it would be greatly appreciated and helps us build our eBay store yeah look like I said if I want to leave feedback, I will do, and if I don't, well, I won't. It's a personal choice. I don't like being pushed into doing anything. So, yeah, this has been an extended look at... Uh, what was an extended look at? Yes, this, this setup here. And if anyone wants to know anything about this, yeah, probably ask someone who's a bit more knowledgeable than me. I'll try my best to explain it, and uh, that is that. So, uh, yes, over to you in the studio. Right, we're back. Yeah, I do, I do know that, Stero, but I, I personally couldn't get it to work in terms of the two outputs. I couldn't get it to do that. And, and even if I did do that, it means that one of my consoles won't be able to be plugged in without further apparatus. So, well, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, you, you could definitely do it without all of that other stuff. But I've gone this route now, so that's it too late now, it's already done. A lot of that guy's heads that we're not allowed to talk about on here. It's too late now. It's gone. Yeah, so what's done is done. Basically I, I estimate that this capture setup has potentially cost me around about you'd get change from 250 quid. Yeah. So it's not exactly dirt cheap, but it's not exactly out of the realms, is it? Uh, and I have to say, I am really pleased with the quality of the video. It's just nice and clean. It's nice and clean, it's nice and clear. Uh, there's no issues with the contrast or brightness. And... Uh, It's just decent, it's decent. I'm doing these games justice with this uh, capture, really. This is as good as it's gonna get to you coming around here and sitting next to me and pressing start on player two. Which, you know, would be welcomed, but obviously with current restrictions, you know, potentially could be some legal proceedings. So, uh, there we go. Yeah, this is Ninja Masters, a game that is often requested on these uh, Neo Geo streams. So hence it's become a bit of a favourite to be fair. Uh, I'm not particularly good at it, but it is a cracking little game. And of course it's ADK, so it's got that sort of element of craziness. I don't know if there was a free player cabinet, I doubt there was, but there's free... Three playable characters to choose from. Alright, 
Carl. Hi, Stu Pal. Nice pieces of kit. I think the setup looks great. Less paper saves trees. That setup will never change how you personally look, though, pal. I know, that's the thing. Some things can't be improved, Carl. And uh, the way I look, I don't think you could do much more. In terms of the capture, we're, we're probably at the best we can get considering the equipment we've got available to us. But, uh, you know, good luck. You're either born with them or you aren't. So, I've been very fortunate in that manner, I must say. Yeah, but I'm reminded about it every day, obviously, when I look in the mirror. So, it's something that I personally get a lot of enjoyment from, but I think primarily it's, it's general members of the public who get the most out of it. Because there are a lot of ugly bastards about, and uh, they can be off putting if you're out doing your shopping or just generally pretending you're doing some exercise while meeting your friends. It can be off putting, even with masks. The amount of people who are visually, you know, impaired is probably a polite way to put it. So, yeah, I'm finding myself to be more popular than ever. Uh, that's that's both in real life and potentially in my dreams. So, that's all that can be said. We're out continues. I'm going to press start because uh, I want to play as Rayar, a third favourite of mine. Spent over the years, not all at once. OSSC, 220 quid. Scott Switch, 120 quid. Cats card, 120 quid. That's, uh, I've read that. Composite is jaggy. S video is over contrast. The OSC is crystal for sure. This is cracking. Hi, Daz, pal. I should have kept Ninja Commando for the Neo CD. MVS only for me now. Yes, it's a cool game. I like this. Like I say, I'm only really aware of it because the amount of people who, who come on here and say, can you play Ninja Commando? So, I, I, I kind of like these sort of hybrid, almost shoot em up type games. A little bit slow, the character. But, I mean, let's not nitpick. Come on, I'm playing this for free. I've not paid... I've, I've only bought a flashcard to play this, so come on. I'm playing this for free, and at that point, this is pretty fucking decent. You've got to bear that in mind, I suppose. It's like people moan about having to pay tax on free money. Like, come on, get some perspective. I had to proper spam my way through that. I'm going to get to the cutscene, though. Is he an artificial man from Man's Corporation? No, he's a real man. Yeah, he wears brute. He wears high karate. He dresses in denim. He still has a cold fire. He's a real man. He sees some sort of, oh, I want to get that drugs. Didn't do anything. Oh no, shoot, shot. Um, oh, you seem quite tough, it says at the bottom there. I don't know if you could pick that up. You probably can. Coins everywhere, but what I really need is health. A lion surely gives you health. You shoot a lion, you expect some meat. Oh, damn, I'm dead. Right, one more continue. I've been Ryu, I've been Joe, I've been... I think I prefer... I think I, think I like Ryu best. This is emulation, but that's not allowed, is it? This is emulation? What are you on about? I can't get to... If you're using a flashcard, it's not emulation, is it? Come on. Don't be so naive. An emulation is uh, definitely allowed. I mean, most people can't be bothered to either pay the high price for flashcards or change game cartridges while streaming so uh, yeah emulation is totally acceptable I prefer to see someone using real hardware definitely it adds a little bit more to it for me well that's me I mean I'm not everyone else am I I still watch plenty of people use emulation I have no issues with it 
I don't even when I watch a live stream half the time I'm just bantering away in the chat. I don't even I'm not even watching the video, I'm just listening to the video. I'm just trying to pick any fault and sort of pointing it out. That's what I'm doing most of the time, so it's a cheesy shooter. Press downwards away and the shoot button. Hold on. I can't get this work going to work on my anaberic, whatever it is, console. I think I need the correct BIOS files, whatever they are. Covid mask should be compulsory on YouTube. Ah, a bit like me. A bit like me. What are you going to do about it? If someone hasn't got a Neo Geo and they want to play a Neo Geo game, what are you going to do about it? They're not going to go out and buy a Neo Geo, are they? So they're going to have to... They're going to have to use some form of emulation. It's inevitable. And there's no way I'm, there's no way I'm going to even own all these games or get off my fat ass and uh, put them into my console. I just can't be doing with it. I mean, what time is it? Five to eleven. So yeah, the, the amount of movement I'm doing at this point is it's going to be limited. We're limiting that down. We're limiting that down. Prehistoric Isle Two. Play it all the time. Emulation streams are okay in my opinion. Real to play on CRT at home though, if possible. Same. Yeah, well... <coughs> <coughs> the thing is, most of the time when I'm playing games, I've already had a few beers, so... Uh, would I be able to tell the difference between having a Raspberry Pi or a, an FPGA thing and the real console? Probably not. Probably not, but... Uh, I've got this stuff, haven't I? If I didn't have this stuff, then yeah, sure, I'd just get the sort of emulational things and live with it. At this point, you're not going to get this stuff. But it's nice, it's novel, it's interesting that someone's got this stuff and they're streaming with it, I think. Uh, but, I, you know, if someone's just going to fire up a Wii or a PC with an emulator, whatever, I'm not bothered. Like I say, that really, I've made all this fuss about the visual representation of games, but in reality, does it really matter? How many people are actually watching the gameplay? Or how many people just... I mean, some of the streams I go on, the, the chat is just mental, like... There's no time to even watch, like... I watch some football streams. There's no time to even watch the person talking about the football game. You can just listen to them. The stream is so intense that you're just constantly in the chat. So, you know, it's... It's a different thing, isn't it, streaming? It's... But I, I personally like it to look good. And I'm happy with how it looks, so that'll do me. Emulation is king for me. It's all about playing games for me. And that's it. Well, that's, that's fine, isn't it? You know, I don't have a problem with that. I'm not out there with a billboard at weekends outside number 10 saying emulation should be banned. It's disgusting. People stealing these games are playing them for free. Who do they think they are? They're not giving these intellectual rights, intellectual properties any, any respect. I'm not out there doing that. <laughs> Forget that. It's freezing out there. Uh, do, I mean, do what you like. You don't, don't make no odds to me. I've got all this stuff. What do you want me to do? I could I could just get an emulator and not use it. I mean, it'd be just as easy. Or I could just use it. Like so. For now, I'm using it. When I've got less time, perhaps I won't use it. Perhaps I will get an emulator. Perhaps I will get Raspberry Pi. Because uh, you know, all of this stuff uh, requires some effort, I guess. I mean, it requires some. It's not just the expense. It's the effort in order to get this stuff to work. Like, uh, it, this is took to get all this stuff to be working perfectly all together has took four weeks. Whether that's because it's been finding out about the information, waiting for stuff to come through, you know, things that didn't work, things that did work. It's took a month, um, it's literally took a month of, of, of thinking about this almost every night to get it all to work. So it's not without effort, you know. Most people, it would have been easier to have bought a Raspberry Pi, put all the ROMs on it, and just use that. Then all this shit would need none of this. Just plug that straight into the CRT, that Extron thing, out to the OSS, and no one, you know, that would have been an easier route. That's what a sensible person would have done. But I've spent a month getting this to work. <laughs> but sometimes, for me, a lot of the time, getting the, it's not, it's not, it's not getting to the destination that interests me, it's the journey there. That's what interests me. Sometimes the journey there is better than the destination. I'm willing to accept that. But, uh, 
maybe that's been the case with this, I don't know. My argument back in the day about MU is when folks say it's better than the OG, it's not in my opinion. Yeah, it's so much less hassle. Like I say, I've spent a month getting this to work. A month. Every night. When I got this power pack today, I came home at dinner time to check it worked. I was so infuriated with how things were going, with the fact I, I didn't get a power pack one day, the one I got the next day was faulty and didn't work. I was so infuriated I came home at dinner time to make sure this worked. Because it, it, it made a difference to me about whether that day was going to be any good or whether it weren't. And if it didn't work, I was going to absolutely flip my fucking lid. I was going to go fucking ballistic. I was going to drive to Amazon and fucking burn the place fucking down. But alas, it worked, so. But, you know, that, it, it, like I say, a month. There's been a lot of people involved in. There's been a lot of work in the background on this as well. It isn't just like I figured it all out myself. You know, I've had to have a lot of. I've had to have some help along the way. You know, I'd like to have all the people's time and effort as well, so... But alas, it's sorted, and uh, to me, that's great. When I went back to work after dinner, oh, you couldn't take the grin off my face. I was thrilled to bits. I was like, mission complete, like I'd just completed level one of Metal Slug without a game hit. Unbelievable. I was like, nothing will piss me off this afternoon. Nothing. Because finally, it's fucking going my way. It's sorted. But yeah. Could have got a Raspberry Pi a month ago and had that working within about 24 hours. And visually, what you'd be seeing wouldn't be a great deal of difference. I could have spent the £200 on uh, an arcade stick, of course. Not a lot of room for any more arcade sticks. It's awesome you can switch between systems. Less hassle, sure, but real seems better to me. But say each to their own, not a problem whatsoever. That's something quite amazing so easily. It's definitely paid off. Picture quality looks crisp, yeah. No, it, it does look great. I, I didn't really buy into the OSSC thing when uh, I think Sturo was the per first person I've seen who had OSSC. And he was having a hell of a time. But he was a very early adopter. I think probably since then they've sort of uh, they perfected things out. But uh, Yeah, as soon as, as soon as I watched Sean's first stream, I think it was a Sega Saturn one, I just thought, you know what, you, you've got... The, the visual quality you've got is exactly what I want. And, uh, yeah, I need to find out how you've done that. And, uh, and then, of course, you know, he told me exactly what I needed to uh, to do in order to be able to uh, achieve that. And that involved the OSSC or whatever it's called. I mean, it'd be, it'd be of greater benefit to me if I had a HDTV then it really would be something special because it would be a double bonus wouldn't it when it did it would, it would provide me with a better image for my television and uh, it would also be enabled me to stream better quality but even as just a streaming device oh I forgot about the bomb move that probably would have handy work for that out earlier oh Neil There's something special about playing original hardware knowing it was around at that time. Yeah, I think there is. You know what I mean? You don't go to a museum, do you, to go and look at a replica? Well, sometimes you do, I suppose. But you don't go to a museum to go and look at someone. Well, I suppose you do, but... You know, you like to see some real stuff, don't you? This museum thing's going right out the window before I've even finished the sentence, to be honest. But, you know... You don't go to an art gallery, do you? Look at a fucking photocopy of the Moe and Lisa. You want to see the real deal, that's what you went there for. <clears throat> I mean, eventually, I'm, obviously, this stuff won't work, but whether I'm still alive at that point, I don't know. I don't, I don't really care to be honest, because if I'm dead, I won't really be worried, will I? But, uh, yeah, I like the original. I mean, it looks awesome. When I come in this room, 
it always really wakes me up. I just think this is so fucking awesome. You're so fortunate to, to have all of these systems, to have all of these games, to have this setup, to have this room. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people who would only dream of having something like this. Yeah, it's not, I'm not last gamer, obviously, but you know, it's still nice. I don't have to have all this shit cluttering up the living room or anything like that. It's just nice to have a dedicated room to it all. I don't live in a big house, I'm just in a fortunate position, that's all. I mean, you know, it's, it's like, well, I've got all the stuff for Dreamcast, to play Dreamcast online again now. I've got all the gear needed. All I need to do is set it up. If I set it up tomorrow afternoon, I'll probably be playing Dreamcast online tomorrow. Get my ass kicked by people on Quake 3 playing with mouse and keyboard while I'm playing the Dream with the joypad. But it won't matter. It doesn't matter. If I die 20 times and kill one person once, that's all I need to do to make it worthwhile for me. Plus, I don't, I don't have any of the modern stuff. I don't, I don't have any of the modern stuff. The most modern thing I've got at this point is PS2. So I'm years behind. So uh, and this is it. This is when I play a game, it's a retro one. It's not even a modern one. It's a retro game all the time. Unless you don't call PS2 retro. Although in all honesty, I've not got PS2 wired in anyway. So. I like using the cheap plug and play emo box for ease, nothing wrong with having another option for games, even wimulation to be fair. It's a good time to have a game room for sure, oh my god definitely, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes you're right, it's nice having good possessions, yes it is yeah. The modern stuff just has no charm, I find that. The graphics just look virtually the same as last gen, yeah I've been arguing that for a bit. Someone the other day on another channel's MVS video was bemoaning on stuff saying it's a waste and all going to fall within 10 years investing Pi VCS carts or how old for fuck's sake. Anyone else in here 100% retro? I stopped at PS3. Yeah, some good stuff on PS3. I, I really thought Xbox 360. It, Xbox 360 was probably, in my opinion, the greatest generation of all time. I think pound for pound, pound Xbox 360 was the best of the best. Uh, nostalgically, it's kind of there for me, but it's not as much as the retro stuff. But I think in terms of the amount of games and the quality of games, Xbox 360 will never be beaten. But uh, in terms of nostalgia, it's all about 16-bit. Anything from the 16-bit generation ticks my boxes. Um, and of course, anything Sega. I, I love anything like Sega. I love an underdog. That's what I like. And I, I've started, it's like on Neo Geo, I'm finding that a lot of the games that are really, like Trash Thrash Rally, everyone calls it Trash Rally, Legend of Successful Joe, two of the worst reviewed games on Neo Geo. I happen to think they're both great. Yeah, maybe I think they're great because they're not good, but I still enjoy them. That's what counts. It doesn't matter the reason why I like them. Help. I could help him, but I'm trying to blow this dinosaur up. Oh no. Come in to help me now. Oh, I couldn't save him. Oh, ranking. Neo Geo versus every game is great, yeah. <laughs> it, to be fair, there's something to like about every game I find. 360 does have a great catalogue, yeah, it's mental. 360 catalogue is insane. There's something for everyone. It, it truly is. And uh, they look great, even today they look great. That resolution, 720p, is just, it's a beautiful resolution. If everything pops at 720p, it really does. It's a huge step, uh, stupid as it sounds, it's a huge step up from 480p. It's, you've got the wide screen as well for the cinematic experience. It's, uh, yeah, it's a nice thing, definitely. I've, yeah, 360 is an astounding console. And the excitement I had for gaming at the time when the 360 came out was was absolutely, I just, I used to absorb everything about games, you know, I used to listen to all the podcasts and watch all the videos, I was so up to date, I knew everything, 
the only thing that was coming out, it was, uh, I was really in front, that was truly the peak of it, my true interest in it all was probably then, I suppose. Fifty fifty to be fair. Confessions I have been unfaithful with my Xbox X Live Get Online. The dinosaur graphics look great. Twitch is amazing for shooters. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, it's nice. I like, I like the fact that these uh these new consoles uh you know, have a lot of the retro stuff on them. That's a nice touch. Definitely. Do you know what? I can't even remember if the last game I played was a shooting before or not. I reckon it was. It was that dinosaur game, wasn't it? Let's play King of Fighters 94. Always wanted this game. I once bought it, and it came in this really scratchy condition, this did you? It was like water damage to fuck. I think it was about £25 or something, and I fucking sent it back. <laughs> sent it back for 25 quid. Had a bit of water damage on it. Not happy with that. It did stink a bit, but I should have kept it because I think, I think this is another series where they got the first game right straight away. Sega were just unbelievably great in the arcades, but so poor in the home except for the Dreamcast. I don't know. I, I and yeah, I can I can say that for the Saturn outside of like the odd shoot 'em up or the odd like standout title like Panzer Dragon or whatever or Sega Rally. Yeah, I can agree with that. But Mega Drive, I don't know. I've got such a strong uh, association with Mega Drive. I love Mega Drive Library. I could play Mega Drive games all day long and never get bored. There's just uh, there's just such a. I I think it's a, one of the greatest console uh, game selections that you can get. Again, something for everyone. Uh, re really good. I love all my consoles, even the Virtual Boy, which gets less than one play a year. Shock Troopers One is great. Shock Troopers Two is okay. Shock Troopers Two, please. Uh, oh yeah, we should have loaded that up. We've started loading King of the Fighters. But uh, I'll definitely load that up next. The thing that impressed me about this game, right? I bought it on eBay, it was in really bad condition. But I played it for one night. And I played it for about four hours. And what really impressed me was sort of the... Uh, the transition between uh, when you start, you know, start the match, there's like a little cutscene that goes into the match, which you'll see now if you're not aware. And in this one, you can't choose separate uh, people, you've got to choose a team, which I like. I'm going to choose England, of course. Brazil. But this, this transition between scenes, I think is beautiful. Simple, but very elegant, that. No, oh, I'm getting there confused with Suzuki from uh, Street Fighter 4. This might be Street Fighter Alpha. It doesn't do the same amount of moves. Definitely not. I always felt the King of Fighters games really outdid the Capcom titles in terms of the amount of stuff that's going on in the background, different animations and things. There was so much to look at. Oh man, Yuri's. Let's hope uh, we get on better with Mai. Come on, come on Mai, have some moves with me now. Not looking good. A little monkey at the ground at the bottom there. It's so random. That's what I like about video games. I like strange things to happen in the backgrounds. That's visible. Really. No. 
No. Damn, I don't remember it being this hard. Shot 2 was a bit below par in my opinion for Neo. Yes, but I have just amazing memories of playing on holiday. King of 595 was a great Saturn port with the ROM cart. Well, I'm making a really bad uh, job of playing this game. Should have listened to the uh, chat and played Shot Troopers 2. Because I'm getting so beaten up. I think this game's making an example of me. I had such a pleasant experience of playing this, knowing that I'm going to send it back to the eBay side the next day. And all of that, all of that, all of those memories have been evaporated by this performance. But uh, this is a good game. Don't underestimate the game or that guy I've just been fighting against who just kicked my ass. In the hotel basement, arcade in Tunisia in 2002. We'll put it on now, but in between we'll play some at the Mega Drive while it loads. Uh, that's that's the way to do it, I think. I just, I just love all of the Neo Geo games. I love every single one. Oh God, we're not still on the Olympics, surely. My God, Darren Steed, is he still going? Look, we'll look at what the next, get, uh, the next event is, obviously, but yes, yeah, Shock Troopers 2. King of Fighters has some good characters back in the day. King of Fighters is great. I always remember King of Fighters 99. We might have been 98 coming out. I remember going to Leicester to buy some trousers to go out clubbing. And uh, they had like this place called the Silver Arcade. And they had a King of the Fighters machine on like, the outside of the street. It was just like, and there was loads of people gathered around it. I'm sure it was 99. That was it. That was it for Olympic gold, thank God. Oh, I'll tell you what, that was a bad Olympics, that was. I didn't enjoy that. I don't think Olympics gold. You know, some things should be left in the past, and I think Olympic gold is one of those things that should be left in the past. She's the beast character. She's the best character. Play as the red girl. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I think I did play as her, didn't I? Glad you decided to stream tonight, Daz. Good job. Yeah, I was pushed into it by Future Matt. Uh, to be fair. Uh, well, yeah. Oh, it's quarter past 11. Quirky. Time flies when you're doing these streams. Like you say, you sort of get involved in a few conversations here and there, and the next thing you know, it's midnight. So, um, and the sad thing is, if it wasn't for doing this stream, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably be downstairs watching some trashy television or something, bored. Um, I'd probably have drank. I perhaps maybe I've drank more. I don't know. I've drank a similar amount, I suppose, but. Uh, I literally wouldn't have achieved anything if this is if this is considered any achievement. I think we go to Wimbledon tennis. Is that too much sport for one night? It's too much sport. I've gone all the way through all that. I've not found anything that took my fancy. I've, the same thing. Let's go the other way. In fact, I find a lot of interest in the American stuff now. Let's have a look what's on here. Something we don't know about. Should we try a bit of boxing? No sport again. Stay away from sport, Darren. What are you doing? Pirates of Dark Water. I think that sounds a bit role playing. Pink goes to Hollywood. Go on, let's chance it. Rocket Knight Adventure. Oh my god, Ashley. I wish I'd read that earlier. I love that game. Tell us your arcade memories, where you played them, the years. Oh man. Well we oh this don't work anyway. Uh we always used to, my parents always used to take us on holiday, like even at weekends. Even at weekends, my, we'd get back from school on a Friday. My parents would be like, "Right, we're going to Filey. What? We're going to this place in Wales. We're going here. We're going there. We was just always going everywhere." So we've seen loads of arcades, um, and uh, we were actually sad enough that uh, what, what we do on the arc, we spent all our times in the arcades with my sister because my parents would be like, you know, at the bar, at the whatever, the clubhouse or whatever. You know, they'd have some sort of entertainment or whatever. They would think for a bit, wouldn't they, for the kids? You know do this, do that, dance around. But then it would go, and then the kids would sort of venture off and we'd go to the arcades. And uh, my parents would give us so much money. We'd have a bit of savings, like, or whatnot. So we'd go in there. We'd have, you know, we used to have one of those things over on your neck, like a sort of a cylindrical thing, and had all your, pet, like, 20p's in there and that. So we had a load of money, but we didn't like to waste it because, you know, at the time, there was a lot, there was some, the bigger machines were about, you know, the virtual racings and... Uh, 
that sort of thing, the, the hard drive-ins and uh, the space harriers, the, you know, the things that, the bigger machines, I don't know, I've, a lot of machines were 20p, maybe some were 50p, I think maybe the bigger machines were 50p. Uh, so what, we'd hang around the arcade for hours and we'd always meet other kids there, and we'd all become friends and whatever and hang around during the day. Um, but we'd sort of just hang around machines, we'd sit there and watch them on demo for ages. Uh, yeah, occasionally we'd put a bit of money in like and uh, play on them and... Uh, it was always fascinating, really. Uh, sometimes uh, you'd get you'd, you'd watch somebody else playing on a machine. I remember I remember vividly watching someone playing Wonder Boy. Uh, it was near a gamble. There was a Samurai Showdown two machine, loads of gamblers, and a um, yeah, there was a Wonder Boy machine. And this bloke on this Wonder Boy machine, he was mustard at it. I remember just going through world after world after world after world. Uh, but I mean really the times when arcades really gripped me was like virtual racing, virtual fighter that was when I remember going to Polity vividly and seeing those machines the virtual fighter on a 50 inch uh, rear projection screen and the virtual racing had a proper like F1 cockpit and I remember the virtual racing that when you played on it people and I'm not even joking people would stand around and watch you playing on it you sometimes turn around and there'd be 20 people watching you play on it in this holiday resort. I mean, it was a fantastic looking cabinet at the time. The graphics, you'd, you'd never seen anything like it. The, the 3D was just, you, honestly, there'd never been a racing game like it, in my opinion. It, it was just astounding. And then they just went from strength to strength, didn't they, Sega? You know, every subsequent, you know, a year later we had Daytona, and then, of course, we had Sega Rally with the four, the four link ups and. Uh, it was just meant. It was just a great time to play on arcade machines. I think a lot of those good machines were during the 90s, personally. A lot of the older stuff I don't really have much association with. You know, like a lot of people talk about Defender and that sort of thing. I remember being there, but at the time there were probably beat up cabinets. You know, there were sort of 20 PFAs that you may well take a, take a gamble on, but. Uh, Yeah, I remember. I remember seeing Mortal Kombat for the first time. I went to the fair in my local town. And they had an arcade there, and it had Mortal Kombat, and I just couldn't couldn't get over it. I mean, nowadays it doesn't look like much, but those digitalised uh, full motion captured characters at the time, that was revolutionary. It really was. I'm not making a very good job of doing this. I've just got to stand me on here and do it. I'm nearly dead. Got another form as well. I never played King of Fighters in arcade. First King of Fighters was actually on Saturn. King of Fighters 95 back in the day, hence my liking of it. Couldn't afford King of Fighters 94 when it came out on Neo when I had my OG AES. Looked awesome, so I got 95 on the Saturn. I'm old enough to have been around for Defender, Pac Man, Donkey Kong when they were new. Yeah, I just sort of missed out on them. I remember at Golden Axe when I was. Uh, the, a lot of times you used to go to the arcades, they had the Star Wars arcade machine. You know, the one with the proper, the one that everyone remembers. But then it was quite dated then. Yeah, it was more, it was more 90s really, my memories are. The 80s is a bit of a blur. But yeah, there's certainly mad times, I mean... You've got to think to yourself, nowadays, right, you never, how many times nowadays do you say when you look at a game, God, it's almost like real life. you sort of got over that point now. You've, you've already accepted that games can look realistic. You're there already. That's nothing new to you. Whereas back in the day, it was all about striving towards that. Games being hyper-realistic. You didn't think it would be possible. I used to always remember talking to my mates about games that would be like driving games where you could drive around your own town and your own streets and things. Like saying that would be amazing. Like, we're, we're at that point now where that's a possibility without any doubt. If someone wanted to do it, they could do it. I mean, Microsoft have done it with the flight simulator basically, haven't they? Iron Horse and Jailbreak at the Caravan Park. <laughs> what was your sister's favourite game? Uh, thanks for sharing. I always enjoy arcade stores. I remember seeing Daytona everywhere, but no virtual racing. I watched Money and watching the tracks over and over. Yep. 
I was a big fan of Plastic Grandstand and Game and Watch, yes. Remember Virtual Racing Arcade, yes, remember watching people play that myself. Space Invaders at a local off sales, pub, Earth Circle members, then Ghosts and Goblins of the Kill Holders in Wales, first one. My sister's favourite game. I don't think she was that into it, I think she just used to hang around with her brother down the arcades, to be honest. You know, like I say, we used to meet a lot of other kids and then we used to hang around with them, them in the day and that. The, it, uh, back in the day, we used to go on holiday, me and my sister, we was very competitive. Very competitive. When it comes to talent, if there was a talent show on, I say about it all the time on streams, if there was a talent show on, me and my sister would both enter it and it would be fierce. We'd give it both our best. We'd go all out. We we had no fear back then. We didn't care if there was 10 people there or 10,000 people. We didn't, didn't even bother us. We'd get straight on that stage and give it our all. And uh, whoever didn't win would always get the arse. It was that it was that fierce all the time. Uh, but uh, we used to always make friends with loads of people. Because I think we were very, you know, we were uh, we were out there, you know. We made ourselves known, you know. People knew we were on site. <laughs> Probably a good way to put it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so just by the end of the holiday, it'd be like a gang of about twenty kids. Like, and the parents loved it, they you know, they could have a few beers or whatever during the day or whatever and we'd all uh, go off to the local swimming pool or whatever else. Innocent times, you know. This sort of thing probably, I don't even know if this goes on nowadays. Probably does, I suppose. Kids are kids, aren't they? Well, you know, we just, we just had a great time. And I'm sure, I'm sure there's a bit of bullshit along the way, you know. I do remember going all day and telling girls I was older than I was and all the rest of it. You know, I'm sure there was a bit of bullshit along the way, obviously. But uh, this isn't times, you know. Happy days. I, I really appreciate it now when uh, I think how much my parents used to take us away. Uh, you just you just think, well, that's mad, really, because uh, you don't you don't hear that. It was just like in the summer, just every weekend. It, we was on holiday more than we was at home, it felt like. It was uh, It was crazy, really. But we always went camping, you see, so it wasn't, it, I suppose it wasn't mega expensive. I suppose that was a thing, you could go away and not spend much money. Uh, but we went to some mad places. Oh man, I'm getting smashed up here. Sega World at Trocadero was a good place back in the day. Went there in the late 90s before it shut. Remember lots of arcade kids smoking, yeah, the smoke was horrendous. <laughs> you couldn't even see. <laughs> at the fairground, got the arcade at the fairground was just sickly. <laughs> you didn't even need to smoke to smoke there, I tell you. Let's put the Neo Geo back on, I think we loaded some up shock troopers. Still not the right button. That's the right button, but 10 seconds of mild excitement, yes, I suppose they were quite good. Penny Shuffle was the only game that was worth playing on the caravan site. So arcades of kid laughing loud. Virtual racing at Trocadero was epic. Oh man. I think I've told you before, Carl. Once when I was about probably about 13, my mate's uh, mum, she worked at Harrods uh, for one of these posh perfume companies. I can't remember which one it was now. And she was like, I'll take you to London. You can go out in London for the day. And we were like, yeah, definitely. And uh, we went to Harrods. We met uh, the bloke who owned it, uh, what was his name, Al Fired or whatever it was, we met him. Uh, and all the women in there, like all the different like clothing, they were all over me and my mate, even though we were about 13. And uh, yeah, we were let loose in London, we went to the Trocadero, we went to like a toy place as well that was like some out of Home Alone. Uh, it was a mad, mad, mad day, it was just crazy because uh, we were like 13, just left on our own their own devices in London like and uh, we went to this thing called Alien I'm sure I've told this story before I think it was called the Alien Experience or something and uh, anyway it was like this sort of weird thing and you put all these like clothes on and whatever and uh, it was sort of like out of the film Alien and I always remember at the end you get in this thing like and you're in this shuttle on the way home and they've been winding you up the old way like that's real and at this point you kind of think it is and uh, there's this alien in the corner, and I spot him out the corner of my eyes, and, like giving it all the narrative and all that. And I've jumped straight for this alien bloke. And me and my mate are about filling this alien in. And the people are trying to get us to stop and everything, saying, It's not real, it's not real, leave him alone, leave him alone. 
And uh, we got well, we got well into it. We had. I remember I was smashing the bloke, <laughs> the alien. Yeah, I was giving it proper gusto. I was. I thought. I, I honestly thought I was in the alien thing. I did. They proper convinced me. It made me realise how propaganda works. But yeah, it was a great day. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately for the bloke in the alien suit, uh, I was pretty massive for a 13 year old. <laughs> so I don't think he was too enjoying it too much. Uh, laugh out loud, Alien War, different time, yeah. Oh, it definitely was. Yeah. Just sort of bro I broke the, the f what do they call it, the fourth wall. I broke the fourth wall. That's what happened. I've become convinced I was on an alien spacecraft. And I was trying to break free and save the human race. And when I seen that alien, I just jumped straight on him. I started pounding him. <laughs> and then they, they like I say they had to come clean and say this is not this is just a simulation. This isn't real. <laughs> Leave him alone. Too late for him. I don't remember ever seeing this one in arcades. I don't remember seeing that many years ago games in arcades. Just say shoot here as well, isn't it? Got a bomb, isn't it? Yes. Life up. I need that. Got that bomb again to work. Yes. Club GTI was new at Sega World at the time I went. Such a great game. Exploring new places. Yeah, did the alien thing. He dashed out into the shops at the end. Yeah, something like that. Like I say, we was in that shuttle on the way back, and uh, I just went, I just flipped, I did. I don't know what come, I don't know what come about me. I just spotted that guy in the alien thing in the corner, and the next thing you know, everyone's trying to drag me off him. Uh, so I, I got really into it. I did. I honestly believed I was on an alien ship. That's why. That's when I realised if I was ever in some sort of merge situation, I'd be, uh, I'd be, I'd be all right. I'll be able to see my way through it, I think. I've had training. What is going on? This game is so different to the first one. It's so bizarre. Is this even made by the same people saw us or not? Oh, come on. Well, I shouldn't be playing. I got through the first level, so... Oh. Nice little sprite scanning there. Oh no! They keep coming in, don't they? Frame, frame thrower, flame thrower. Love a bit of flame throwing. Absolutely no good for canvas tents, though. I must admit. Oh, come on! Can I get in that? Go on! Roll in. I'm in. Oh, look at that beauty. Yeah, whatever. Get out of town. Give me some help for this car. I made a few mistakes along the way. Concerned it could. Uh, I'm rolling out. My car's finished. Couldn't last in it. Have I died? Yes, I've died. I don't know if I play. I can't remember playing this. These pre-rendered graphics are an interesting thing at this point. Oh no! Art style is a bit PS1 2D in my opinion on this. Play-Doh ish. Holy fire to charge in car. Yeah, PS1 style graphics. This is mental. 
Always Fatal Fury Special Neo Joe Arcade and Samurai Showdowns. It reminds me of Zombies at My Neighbours. Yeah. Oh, it turns the same character. Yeah, I've had a lot of good times playing Zombies uh, at my neighbours. I just tell that to my friends' house quite a lot. Great two-player game. I know the Mega Drive version isn't quite as good as the Super Nintendo one, but still, still an enjoyable game, still a good co-op game. Oh, look at that! I love that, the way that truck came in the fell over there. Beautiful. They're always a bit of a mixed bag, aren't they, these uh, pre-rendered sprite games? I suppose you've got to appreciate them for what they are. Come on, let me go in that. I ain't going in it now, it's blown it up. I, don't, the, I think calling this PS1 era is giving the PS1 too much respect. The PS1 could not produce graphics like this. There's no way this would work on PS1. Not at the same frame rate or anything like that. Forget that. Not going to happen. Maybe if it was the last game ever made for the PS1 it could do, but other than that, no chance. PS1 would need to constantly load, exactly. Exactly, you'd be deafened by that uh, Amiga loading s sound. I've got an alert coming in now. Looks like some sort of stealth bomber. Nice. I know where to shoot it. Maybe them areas there. I'm shooting it hard in that area. Something that tells me it's not really quite as easy as a fortress. Damn! Whoa! Bomb me! Whoa, lasers. Saucy lasers, bro. Oh, no. I think that might be it. I always try to avoid playing it, to be honest. To be fair, it has its charms. I guess it looks a bit 32 bit 2D with a rendering, maybe. The number of colours on screen has a massive impact on the look. PS1 would need to constantly load, PS1 would not got enough RAM, same with Saturn without a booster cart, 32 bit with Madden and rendering fab, 100% sprites and the near makes the game more impressive. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. What, what happened with the Mega Drive? We're still on Metal. No, we're on Rocket Knights. I suppose we ought to have one more game and then call it a day, haven't we? It's, what, 20 to 12? Mind you, I've not done the pickups video yet. We ought to do the pickups video. I tell you what, let's do that now. Let's select a game on this. I'll do the pickups video. Although you already know what the stuff is, still we should do it. You don't know what the games are. You don't know what games I've been given. So, uh, oh, that side pocket. Is that a cop out to play side pocket? Who cares? Let's play side pocket. Well, let's show the pickups video. I'll just uh, get another beer. Oh, what button is it though? Oh, it's a tricky one. So here we are, back once again. More pickups. Excuse the mess. It's always like this. A uh, couple of things for the Dreamcast Online. Dream Key, version 1.5. Been told I need this. Been told I also need this.
to set up the Raspberry Pi, the Dream Pi. And it's a compact USB keyboard. Shall we take a look inside? I believe it's around about £10. And as you can see, it is uh, it's USB powered, so I hope that's correct. I've just done what I've been instructed to do, and uh, yeah, hopefully that'll work. It actually smells, smells a little bit like a Neo Geo AES, sir. Uh, yeah, it's got Neo Geo AES game smell. Oh wow, look at the press, look at the travel on those buttons. I'll be tip tapping away all night long on the internet. So that's all the boring stuff. Now this is a package from Carl. He didn't mention on the live stream that he had some games he was just going to send to me. I can't remember what he said they were because I was probably well lubricated at that point. Elebriated is probably a better word. So here we go, so we've got some racing games, Tomi Tokyo Extreme Racer from Crave. I know this was released on the Dreamcast, never played it myself, so I'd uh, be keen to check that out. Auto Modelista, very well regarded Capcom racing game this, it's got a self shaded style if you weren't aware. I do remember having this years ago, uh, back when games, you know, PS2 games were like £40, and uh, swiftly trading it in, but... Looking forward to revisiting this because it's a bit of a bit of a cult classic at this point. And uh, last but not least, SSX, SSX Tricky. And uh, I have played this game to death. Not this particular copy, obviously, but this game itself. Always a firm favourite of uh, friends, this one. And uh, yeah, great snowboarding game. So uh, I'll definitely have to hook up the old PS2. And... Uh, Check out what it looks like through the OSSC streaming. But, uh, for now, I'll stick them with the selection I've already got. And uh, I'll get back to them at some point in the near future. So that's pretty much it for now. I don't think this is going to be a video on the channel. I think this is going to be a video just sort of halfway in between the live stream. I'll start, I get a drink. So uh, that's it for now. Over to you in the studio, Darren. Hi Darren, sorry I can't be there tonight but I'm busy washing my hair. Good luck with the stream and shout out to all the nerds. SSX will be a good stream next time. Yeah, definitely. God, the amount of hours I've played on uh, SSX Tricky is not even funny. Oh god at the time. I was just in this massive group of friends. I was going at this girl, I had a big group of friends, I had a big group of friends, and everyone would sort of get together and uh play a lot of uh, SSX tricky. And uh pretty much unlocked everything that you could unlock on it. To the point of where you didn't want to play SSX tricky, but of course, you know everyone would always mention the uh this self-titled soundtrack, uh, it's free to rock a rock, it's tricky, and uh, yeah, it's just an absolute classic, just the best snowboarding game. The only snowboarding game that I would argue potentially was better was uh, Amped Free, oh dear, on Xbox 360, that's another beauty of a snowboarding game. Other than that, I can't think of anything better. Oh my, terrible play. Yes, yeah, see you later, Dal. Good to see you on the stream, mate. Oh, meal. I should have just whacked that full boy out. That was my only hope. I've got to go for the purple one, surely. I've got to go the purple. I've got to have to cop out. For a spot of yellow. God, the hours I've spent playing this game. Why on earth I don't own a copy of this? I don't know. Stupid. I've had it so many times. I just totally love this game. Oh, been done dirty though. There. Played Amp Two like mad on the Xbox. Honestly, play Amp Three. Play Amp Three and thank me afterwards. Honestly, 
if you want to play a snowboarding game that's just so weird and free it's just so good I was absolutely glued to that glued to it it's a phenomenal game one of my favorite 360 games and that's a big statement considering the number that there were I'm not getting into that zone definitely not it's going to be on the opposite pocket the chance of getting in there is zero but I'll take it in the one opposite of course we'll see what sort of score we get Neil talking Neil wonder what his retro will be a penny farthing I'll get it thanks get it Matt honestly you'll be telling me how it's so mad you'll be saying this game is crazy you'll be saying why don't you still own it and that's a good question I should really get it. Uh, I may even have it in the loft, to be honest. There is a load of 360 games. I did give a lot to my nephew. Um, bless him, he didn't He didn't have any games console. Come on. How can you be like 14, 15, 16 and not have a games console? Come on. It's not right, is it? Wrong. Got it. Got it. This is some mental shot, as if that's going to work. I can't get anything. Unless I go real crazy. I'm going to go real crazy. This is just an off shot. Oh, and it's off, all right. Off into the wrong pocket. Yeah, Amp Free is strange, funny. Yeah, it's crazy. I love Amp Free. Totally my sense of humour. Really cool game. A bit of a departure from Amp 2, though. Uh, similar, I suppose, but... Uh... Go for the old double bouncer. Oh, how did that not slip in? That bog video from Hygiene was rather strange. That's Neil for you. you. Don't don't expect the ordinary from Neil. He will always surprise you, Neil. Will. Neil don't do ordinary. Neil's not the ordinary kind of guy. Neil puts up. I mean, I'm a big fan of Neil's videos. I like that kind of thing. I like the quirkiness. I don't. You know, that's the sort of thing I'm into, that is. I've had some fucking brilliant laughs with Neil over the years, I really have. Uh, I've never actually met him. I think he's quite a shy, sort of endearing kind of guy, but uh, I think I think it'd be a good I think it'd be a good meeting. It'd make a good video, me meeting hygiene, I think. I think I could bring the best out in him. I think I'd bring out a spark in him, definitely. But, uh, yeah, it's a good guy, Neil is. I don't actually think Neil lives that far away from me. Like, I think he lives within about 50 miles. Oh my, oh my. How bad is that? I'm going to hit this one. Chance of getting that in there. What do you think? Weren't to be. If you was, if you was betting that was going to work out, you was wrong. This is even wilder. This is not going to end well. Oh, the unpotables. Wow, will this end in there? That will never end in that middle pocket. <laughs> Came close. I'm going to run out of shots. I'm not going to progress. Foul. What's the best nun game video you've seen on YouTube? Discuss. Nun game video. Oh, what? The other day, I fell asleep on the sofa and when I woke up, 
There was this video on about the train networks in Japan. It was on for about an hour and a half. I thought I'll turn this off in a minute because uh, this is just, I don't need to know any of this. I watched the whole lot. That's the most recent one. It was a great video. I really enjoyed it. So did one and a half million other people as well. So no bad luck, I'm the only person. But, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I learned a lot during that. I learned some facts that I can spew out to other people. Did you know in Japan when a train leaves a station, everyone on the platform waves at that train until it's out of sight. Not says out of the station until it's out of sight. If you can see it half a mile away, they're still fucking waving. Yeah? That's what I learned on that program. Right, the only way to get around Japan efficiently is by train, by rail. No point trying any other way. If you want to get anywhere, you've got to go by train. You're messing, you're wasting your time if you're not going by train. Train's the way. Yeah, that's that. That's all there is to it. It was very informative. It was a great program. I enjoyed it. In fact, it, it came on as a recommendation earlier. I nearly watched it again. That's how good it was. I nearly watched it again. I'm not even the biggest fan of trains. Yeah, it was very well put together. Maybe you've watched it already. If not, watch it. I could put a recommendation in for this train video. Even the bloke doing the commentary he just wasn't annoying. He was just, he was just, he was just. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I really did. And it's totally not my kind of video. Wouldn't usually watch that. Like I say, I was thinking I'd turn this off after five minutes. An hour and a half later, I was still watching it. I was trained out. Oh my god, for fuck's sake, that's crazy. They produce folk on the trains in Japan. Yeah, another thing I learned, Cycle Lanes, New York is well funny. Another thing I learned, right, in Japan, if you see someone taking a photo or something, right, in Japan, right, it's what they do is take a photo of the person taking a photo. That's the thing to do, right, and that just got my head into overdrive because so I started thinking, what the fuck? Right, so these people have got loads of photos of people taking photos. So at their homes, have they got photo frames with people taking photos? The people they don't know, they've got photos of in their homes who are taking a photo. They must have. What are they doing with these photos otherwise? They must, they must surely have them in their home. And then I thought, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Would you have that? A photo of somebody else in your home that you didn't notice, a random person? That What are they doing with these photos? It, it left all kinds of answers. Like I say, this video about these trains, it... It really did blow my mind. It really did. I mean, it's not difficult, I admit, but uh, I just I felt like I learned so much. I felt like I learned more when during that hour and a half, which most of it I was asleep for, than I did at school. I say these Japanese people, they're they're next level. They're doing some right and mad stuff, potting the white all the time and thinking it's clever. This needs to go in now, and I'm not joking. If this don't go in, the stream ends. It's as simple as that. Cross your fingers, your toes, and anyone else's belongings you've got. Lucky, lucky. We might not have enough points yet, though. You might not have crossed enough fucking uh, inanimate objects. Let's see. Uh oh. This ain't looking good. She wants about 4,000, I know. Oh, we've got to get this in. How can I get this in? Shit. I think this is it. Get in, you bastard! No, no, no! I think we've done it. But did we get enough points? Though? That's the thing. That's just for extra balls. There might not be enough points in the bag here. No, she wanted 3,000. She's one of the toughest blondes. No eating and drinking while walking. Bad manners in Japan. And I don't mean bust up blood vessel. Love riding all over Tokyo on the trains. I was told no one would care about photos being taken. If they did, they were probably Yazuka. Big glasses, Sean. Prody Poke. Grandad Gamer train videos. They should have a Dennis Higgins character in that game. Oh, definitely. Oh, there's a lot of strange stuff going on in Japan. I'll probably get on well there, though, to be honest. I always find it for going to the sort of most run-down uh, areas, I, I, I get on fine. So... But uh, yeah, it's nearly 12 o'clock at night, so I'm probably going to have to call it a day here, I think. But uh, many thanks to everyone for uh, watching, commenting, 
a like in and all the rest of it. And uh, I might well be on tomorrow. I've heard rumours that uh, Sean, RS Fagin 500, will be streaming tomorrow night. I believe his favoured time is around about 9pm. I've got a little job on tomorrow, but if I find time, hopefully I'll do a little warm up before uh, the big event. So uh, that's pretty much it for now. So uh, take care. And uh, hopefully, I'll catch you soon. Hello, it's me, your favourite bloody RS Fagin 500. You watch his Sega Socks live. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, support the Patreon. So, here we are in Coventry looking at this pretty stunning piece of workmanship. Great bollard work. Made a real neat job. Really neat job. Well, the glass is empty. I'm definitely going to need to get a drink. Right, we'll be back shortly. So here we are once again with another video segment. I'm sorry to continue to bore you with these, but uh... so here we are back once again. More. Letters will be ejected from the stream and banned for life. This is your first and final warning. Right, this is the K Lord Gamer here. Any more messing about, and I'll get this ballot, but I'll smash it on your head.